<laughs> no way, bro. The stream is now streaming. The 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 what? Like, the stream is flowing. Why don't you? Like, if the is bad, why don't you stream some what? messages to some so bitches' DMs? Yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Bro, the new Suicide Boys album, fucking immaculate. Better than their last one. It's very good. I cannot wait. This good. It is good. Very, very good, bro. Fuck, bro. I gotta go drink my fucking protein shake soon. Bitch shake. No. Man shake. <laughs> no. Bitch. Bitch bro. shake. Bro, I put on... I think I put on 10 pounds already. Duh. Yeah, I'm fucking committed. Cause like now I I actually started eating the food like properly, and I know I said that I was doing that before, but now I'm like actually meeting. I'm like sci like scientifically making progress. Okay. Which is pretty cool. So uh, I'm I'm eating about like three thousand calories a day. So it's pretty neat. That's good. Uh, thanks. So. If I keep doing what I'm doing, then I will get big and strong. <laughs> you get big and strong and be able to beat people up. Mm-hmm. I'll finally be able to pick up John. <laughs> I might be- I could probably pick up John. No. I- I will make myself heavy. <laughs> I will. I will become fat. I can like. I will become heavy. I think I might be able to carry you over my shoulder. If I concentrate so hard, I will become heavy. <laughs> uh, 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 Elden Ring shields wiki. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So I made a second cock. Is that the other person that joined the clan? Is that you, yeah. Micah, not Micah? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. You sent them. You so, sent them a firm request. Yeah. What? Who is? What is that on? That's. Like, you can just make multiple accounts now on the same device. Oh. Yeah. I was surprised myself. You can make them uh, via like Supercell account. Oh. Yeah. So. Like. I guess you needed to. Like, like how I was trying to get my mom to sign in with the Game Pass thing or the the Game Center, which I'm yeah. pretty sure has been discontinued. Uh, <laughs> somehow, you know, she was able to sign back into it, and then I just signed that account up with a uh, with a Supercell account, and then you you can like they make it like very easy to like swap accounts. Like I can swap okay. to my other account in like five seconds if I wanted to. And it just, like, hmm. reboots back up, like, as if you're opening the game for the first time. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of cool. That's kind of neat, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I figured I'm waiting, like, five, <laughs> like, five, four days at this point like, at a time for shit to finish. I'm just, like, staring at my base with, like, nothing to do. Uh, why not start over so I can have, like, two things going at once. So, that's what I did. That's fair. So, yeah. I wonder if I could do that and try to reclaim my old account again. <laughs> uh, I don't know because because you have to get onto that account and then set it up with the Supercell account. Right. Which, by the way, I did finally get that fucking anniversary cake on my main account. Yeah, I saw that. I, I was pissed when I went and looked at my old account and saw the anniversary <laughs> cake in the corner. I was like, bruh, haven't, <laughs> this account hasn't been used in, like, six years. What the fuck? Yeah, I saw that. I was like, damn. I, I have a 10th anniversary cake on mine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, no, I, I did see that. I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's pissed. I, yeah, so now I have my fifth anniversary cake. And my, uh, 
my 10th anniversary cake right next to each other. I have like a little memorial in front of my base. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. along with my clash tree. Dude, I used, I remember like, I vividly remember like getting rid of like so many of the event things just because they would give me like extra, extra shit. And now I can't, <laughs> now I can't put them on my base, but at least I have the one from five years ago. Yeah. Because that was a pretty long time ago. It was. So. That was, like, yeah, I have one of those on my, my old account too, but of course, you know, I actually can't get to that. Darn. Savage. But you said you had what on your old account? Uh, fifth anniversary. Oh, cake. nice. Uh, I want to use spike shield. Oh shit, I just noticed I don't have game audio. <laughs> Bruh. I wanna get the fingerprint shield. Oh, we have to get to the end of the game. Well, not the end. You need to get to, like, the capital. I knew that. I looked over to wait to see myself get kicked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm too busy to do that. Okay. Damn, is there no way to get up from here? Nope. What the hell is that? What the fuck? Pillory shield? Pillory. Why does it look like that? That's not a shield. What the fuck? Hey. Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck? Bruh. What the hell is wrong with this dipping tool, bro? This dipping tool, you suck. <laughs> you suck! You suck. You have, you have no talent. Bro, can I just copy and paste this? No. You have no talent. Who the fuck do you think you are? This. It's a shield. Oh. Pretty sure that's just a stockade. Like oh. the, the things that they like block people's heads and arms in like medieval times. Oh! Oh yeah, that is that. I apparently didn't play with enough blocks as a kid. I, I couldn't figure that my way around that one. Enough what? Blocks. Blocks? Yeah, like blocks. You know, like building blocks. blocks. Like blocks, like oh. they help they help your kids like <sighs> like establish like structure in the world and I don't know. I don't know what blocks have to do with this. Because blocks, like, make you smart. You're like, oh, I oh. deck blocks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Blocks make you smart. I, I, I was thinking of a stockade, and I was like, how does that block, what does a block have to do with the stockade? No, the, it didn't have to do it. It's the fact that I <laughs> yeah, had to turn my I, head I, I sideways to figure it out. And I, I didn't. I get what you're saying, no. <clears throat> oh, shit. I can just sell these for... I can just sell the, uh... Uh, my fucking uh the gold the ruins for the same amount and uh, yeah yeah that is so much easier that has been a thing i think since dark souls 3 actually yeah, i think dark souls 3 was the only game that did that i don't think one or two did and i don't think bloodborne did that was a nice quality of life thing though yeah All right, well, Charisma Jakeman has been made, the, the average human. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, look, just typed the name Charisma Jakeman into Google and took the first picture I got, which is just some picture of some blonde chick on r slash blonde hotties. So, uh, <laughs> I did not put much effort hotties. into this. I think that's what it said. Hold on. Subreddit for everything like that. 
Uh, oh, oh did, I, did I already close the picture out? No, okay. Sorry, short-haired hotties. Not blonde hair. <laughs> I think that's even weirder. Okay, well, okay. it looks like I'm going to be using the, the spiked shield. Let's go. I did not realize that Charisma is apparently a woman's name. I, I didn't even really realize that that was an actual name. It's not. It's just... <laughs> Well, I mean, like, want it to be. Yeah, I didn't realize there's something people actually used as a name. It's not. People just <laughs> listen. Ever since I found out that that lady was named, that lady named her kid Shower Gel. <laughs> <laughs> like I, it's not. It's not. It's not a name. Don't worry about it. Sure. <laughs> Don't Shower worry about gel. it. Okay. The lands between. I'm gonna watch the intro cinematic again. I like it. Okay. Oh. Hey, Jeremy. Whoa, XXDJ XX is now alive. Yeah. I was thinking about rebranding. Rebranding? Yeah, as, as Micah, not Micah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Like, my, like Micah, like how you spell my name. Yeah, I know you, how you and then, like, named the, uh, the Clash of Clans account, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't put Micah, not Micah for some reason. But, uh, yeah, then it has the H at the end. Yeah. I don't know. Well, like, maybe. Six frames. Why? Frame death. Is it because it's raining? <laughs> Arise now, ye tarnished. Did you help us out, Cully? Don't call me a Cully, you motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, did you know you can play Clash of Clans at like 120 FPS? Does that, does that matter? Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, but it feels <laughs> different. Oh, well, I did not know that. Yeah, apparently you could do that. And I did that. How did you get to the Blood River area beneath? The Lodestone Dung Eater! Sorry. Blood River? Yeah. <laughs> Blood River. The... the... Underground? Yeah. The Lake of Rod. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. that is from... Uh, I think that's the Enzo River, which is another underground area. I think that's How do I get it. to the Enzo River? Uh, <laughs> the entrance is in Liernia. I think it's by, um... That... Uh... That tower that has the dickhead that teleports throughout it and shoots giant magic arrows at you. It's like the like western part of Liernia. Pretty sure that's what the Ansel entrance is. How about you learn the numbers to some <laughs> bitches' phone numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> learn. <laughs> Map found. Yeah, maybe we could. Fi I mean, that that day is on a Sunday. Uh, Womp. The day that my mom's thing is. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. You don't start with a shield when you start with the fucking little shithead class, the wretch class. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you you always started with the shield when you chose this. Would you guys be okay with that? It's a Sunday. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. By me at least. Hmm. 
John. I guess I'm just gonna be clubbing people. John Sunday? Mm -hmm. Sunday. Sunday should be okay for me. Okay, I'm gonna call Quailin. You know what Sunday? I mean, maybe I won't call Quailin. She may be in the middle of thing. You know, what? I'm gonna call him. Hey Siri. Funny call Quailin. Call Quailin G. Calling Quailin G Mobile. Quailin. They gotta make a Siri voice with like the funny mocking British voice. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> calling. That'd be awful. Hello. Hello. Hey. New 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 update in uh Knobles trip. Okay, so okay. apparently we're not going with Everett anymore. Uh, cause like the, all the dates just don't work out. Oh, Unfortunately, maybe we'll do it blood. in the future, but we can't do it. Um, would you want to do it, uh, September 4th? It's a Sunday. My mom, my mom and, like, well, my whole family is going to be going down because, like, she's getting, like, a discount or, like, whatever because of her job. Okay. So, like, I can just drive us down or whatever. We can just go down. Would you want to do that instead? Are we doing anything in September? No? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. All right. Uh, then uh, sounds good. All right. I I will keep you updated then, cause I'm not even sure if she's going. But I mean, if not, then maybe we might as well just go by ourselves anyways. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love you. <laughs> okay then. Uh. Fourth. Fourth then. September fourth. No, I don't actually want it. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think September 4th is going to work for me anymore. Really? Yeah, no. What about September 5th? Well, that's <laughs> a Monday. And I'll be in school. Because I go to school, John. Just don't go in that day. Yeah, bro. Smile. The second week of school. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I have people in my fucking public speaking class that have missed like a week and a half of this five week semester <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. what the fuck so irresponsible <laughs> I, can't, I mean i guess i can't say anything i i missed oh well no it's it's oh shit it's like three times a week right yeah it's uh monday tuesday and thursday i missed uh i missed i think yeah, it was like early 2021, which is crazy, because it was like really only like a year ago. Well, I guess like a year and a half ago now. But um, my CPR class, I only had it like five <laughs> times, and I missed, I missed uh, yeah. two of the days for it. <laughs> Forgot about this. It's because of all the snow, right? Yeah, but it kept getting like canceled or whatever. They were like the whole campus is gonna be canceled. I'm like, all right, well, so that must mean the building down the street has to be canceled too. And, uh, I guess not, because they were like, all right, well, last week, I was like, bro, we weren't here last week. <laughs> and, I'm just doing uh, it through Zoom. Zoom CPR. Yeah, fuck. Remember when we were in a Zoom electric class? Zoom electric class? Yeah, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom class with Mr. Uh, Keener. When the hell are we ever in Zoom with Mr. Keen? Oh, wait, yeah, I do remember that. We did that, like... We only did that, like, twice or something, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Wasn't he, like, please turn on your cameras or some shit? I don't I, think so. I don't remember. But I was, like, messaging you on there. Yeah. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, okay, I do remember that now. Funny. I still don't have, uh, I still don't have game, game audio. Maybe uh, you should, uh, do something about that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do something about it now, but I don't know how to fix it. Is Discord oh. fuck your shit up? What's the, it's in voice and video, right? For in-game settings? Or on Discord? 
Yeah, like, there's, like, isn't there a setting in Discord that fucks up your game audio or something on... I don't think so. Check and, yeah, check and make sure that your, uh... That your, like, your, 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 your main audio device, like, on, like, your taskbar, isn't, like, set to your controller. Because you plugged in your controller to play the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes... Just... Yeah, that's... Is that what happened? That's why it's an issue, that's, yeah. Okay. That's why it's an issue. Part of me wants to just club the fucking shit out of Vare. Out of who? Oh, oh Vare. Oh, oh shit. No. Oh. oh, I don't have any stones or keys. No. <laughs> God damn it. I need stone sword key. <laughs> just make some out of stone, dumbass. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, and I don't know if you've seen my account, but my second cock account is only a day old, and I'm that progressed because look at how progressed you are. I'm already like town hall four oh. in a day. How? Uh, because that like that aver that anniversary event is going on, so I realized that when you attack it. Like it gives you the loot from the bases. Yeah. And in some of those bases, it has like five hundred thousand of each material, like of each resource. And five hundred thousand when you're like town hall one. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> so I've just been like siphoning out loot from those, and we're only halfway yeah. through it. I don't know if you've done any of them, but. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've done all of them that are. Yeah. So I've just been siphoning out loot from them and just dumping them in the walls, dumping them into my. I mainly just been dumping them into my, uh, into my, uh, my storages, and then my town okay. halls. But yeah, I'm already town hall four. I'm just waiting on like both of my uh, storages to fill. And I'm going to town hall five. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I still have. I still have some. Uh, yeah, no, I, I am rushing it a bit, but I mainly want to get to Town Hall 5 so I can change my name, because apparently you need to be Town Hall 5 before you can change your name again. Because I really didn't like that I couldn't put Micah, not Micah. Uh, that I had to put, like, the it's, and then I, like, I lost a letter. It was fucking Yeah. Dumb. So, I'm, I'm, I don't know why. It's not a huge deal, but I'm determined to try to get back into figuring out a new name. Okay. But yeah, no, that's what I've been doing. And I've also been rushing my builder base on my main account because to get to that auto, the auto hut. Yeah, uh, you need this. to have a maxed out uh, battle machine for that too. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> okay. So I'm slowly getting on the grind to do that. But um. I don't even I don't even know what the maxed out battle machine is. So like what level? That's thirty. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good lord. Yeah, yeah it's 30. Mine's so, still level 1. Mine's still level 5. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've just been doing that. It's going okay. to take a long time. but I've been taking advantage of the payout from the season bank on my main account to just fucking blast through all the upgrades I have left. Yep. Yeah, no. See, that's the problem with me is I play the game so much, I'm... I had it, apparently it wasn't 70 million, um, but I told you, like, the cow was like, ooh, and then another 25,000, that just means, like, 25,000, or 25 million in total, like, it doesn't uh -huh. keep adding on top, so yeah. I ended up getting, like, 25 million of both resources, and then, like, 200,000, uh, or, like, some shit, like, Dark Elixir. That's, that's a lot of Dark Elixir. Yeah, I'm still... <sighs> Can I get some dark elixir? I have yeah. I have like a hundred and seventy thousand uh I have a hundred and seventy thousand uh like gold and elixir sitting in like each of my pumps because I can't collect it. Because yeah, that's there's no way for it to too. go. People just keep raiding me and taking like one one million fucking shit <laughs> and I'm like yeah! yeah I have like fucking fifteen million elixir. 
and mm -hmm. I mean, all of my walls are upgraded. All of the things I can upgrade with elixir are upgraded. So it's all just kind of sitting there. My my fucking elixir pumps have been full for like the past fucking five days. Yeah, me too. So I I wish I could upgrade more walls for Town Hall 11, but I want to finish everything first. Because what what is my first step? I surprisingly blasted through everything, like all of the walls. Yeah. Yeah, I I was I got done with my walls when I upgraded to Town Hall Nine in like the first day that I got to Town Hall Nine. I was kind of surprised how quickly. Mhm. Mm Cause all I've done is I've just made like a like an alternate base layout that just has all my shit in like rows. Yeah. And I just swap to that, and upgrade the walls like that. Nice. It's quick. It's kind of progress base. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't think I asked, but you know, go off. <laughs> um, no, go I've been off, getting queen. getting way too deep into Clash of Clans. I don't know what the deal is, but it's okay. It's called being interested, bro. It's fine. I need to find a stone sword key. You need to find some bitches. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, the game has like this auto update. This auto upgrade feature now. Ow. Oh. Yeah, you could um. Like if you're inactive for like a hundred days, or if you're inactive for like ninety days, uh, your base starts upgrading itself. What? What? Really? <laughs> yeah. Mike cameo. Mike cameo. I <laughs> paid two hundred dollars for this. <laughs> Mike, my <laughs> graphics card went. Oh yeah. shit! I like Latrell was like, it's just a connection. Um, no. <laughs> you mean, does this look no. like a connection to you? Hold on. <laughs> extreme, extremely yeah, bro, that's dead. Just a connection. Damn. Yeah, bro. Just a connection. It's a seven-year-old computer. Just Let's unplug see. it and blow in the port a bit, and then you're fine. That might be what I'm going to try. The problem is I can't get the case open. Because when I moved from PA to New York, we broke the case. Oh. I can I can get it open, but it's not going to... It'll be That's finagling pretty. that I don't want to deal with right now. Uh. Charisma Jakeman is getting her shit kicked in. <laughs> Fuck off, oh, fuck I off. missed. I died. Oh, I game. missed. Oh, I missed. Just go, um, go break into like your local Best Buy and snag like a 30 series. Oh, GPU. no, they don't have, they don't have fucking graphics cards there, bro. They don't? No. Nah, bro. Not anymore. I fucking, they have shit. They have like outdated shit. I showed up there. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to wait like more than a couple days for my thing to get fixed. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, man. can I get a graphics card? <laughs> They're like, this is what we have. All old shit. It sucks. Damn. GameStop doesn't have them. Walmart doesn't have them. What? Like... GameStop sells graphics cards? Apparently not. <laughs> I have to order it online. Did. Yeah, I didn't think they did either. I didn't think they did either until I googled it. Oh. That day. <laughs> huh. <laughs> oh! No! Yeah! Oh. So anyway, anyway yeah, I don't really want to upgrade the whole thing, but I don't know if my eight-year-old outdated motherboard is compatible. Um, might not be with anything newer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just I'm too worried about getting an old one. Yeah. Oh, man. You could probably get like a like a 10 series one. That'd probably be fine. I really do have to just like go in there and figure out what everything is. <laughs> I need a new hard drive too, because it's got a fucking hard drive and not an SSD. Is that also I'd rather have an SSD. Yeah, this, yeah, no, it's the it's completely stock from when I got it 
in oh. 2015. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know what? <laughs> It's it was impressive. probably outdated when my mom bought it in 2015. <laughs> probably was, honestly. There's a good chance. <laughs> so it's still, these parts are probably eight years old. <laughs> wow. Oh, hi, Belogner. What are you doing in here? Jump scare. Shit. You don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Belogner, did I tell you my computer, my graphics card exploded? No, you didn't. It happened yesterday at like midnight while I was playing by myself. Can't believe it blew the fuck up. Yeah, My whole screen went like black and I was nobody. like, the day has come. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day of reckoning. I've been having weird. I've been having. Oh. Your graphics card's gonna go pretty soon. <laughs> but they weren't so bad, and they were very rare, so I was like, I'll ignore this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other day my graphics card did some shit where it was like blinking red. And I was like, it was like, <laughs> like a random LED that I've never seen before was just flashing like, beep, 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 pretty much. And I was like, uh, uh, uh what is that? Me. <laughs> I was like, I just got light. you, like not even a month ago. <laughs> And, this is the uh, crypto scammers kill me light. <laughs> oh, nice. Never mind. I don't even have to go there. But uh, I looked it up. They were like, poor power supply. And then somebody was like, nah, bro. This is just random. This should happen sometimes. Yes, it means like bad power supply, but it also could just be random. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. My favorite, so my I, favorite it, part about owning a computer. Yeah, it, it just... just um, incompatibility it, spiral. It just, yeah, it, it never happened again. It never happened since. So, just ignore it and hope nothing changes. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trell told me it was like it could be a loose connection. Does this look like a loose connection? I mean, I guess it's possible, but I really doubt it. Nah, if it's if it's a loose connection, it's either gonna be connected or not. It's not gonna be in between. It doesn't make any sense. It could be. I've had yeah, you can, weird you can things have like that happen. Between. Nope. My you know, PlayStation like, 2 will display in black and white unless I, like, <laughs> jiggle the cord and then it comes in in full color. Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds terrible. We definitely only get some of the video. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You're lying. I like bashing the, the sheep over the head with the shield while I'm riding <laughs> past them. <laughs> and not even hitting I them hard enough to clock. kill them. I love clocking a sheep in the head with a chunk of metal. It's yeah, pretty cool. Not even hurting them hard enough to kill them. Like it just. They're just like, what the fuck? Wait, it's not killing them? I thought, no. I thought all animals only had like one health. Nah, no, it does like 56 damage. Wow. No. I mean. Not enough! <laughs> oh my god! I need two stone sword keys, bro. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah, no! I went to my college me. campus today to like go do some like office stuff at their office. And I walk up to the door and it's like... Here's where we're open. Uh, the campus is closed on one on Fridays. Every other day is like till three. But Friday is one. <laughs> I look at my watch, it's like 105, door's locked, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it like just for Friday? <laughs> it's, the end of, it's the end of the week, bro. They want to get out of that. Yeah, bro. We want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's the weekend, bro. Fuck God you damn. and your uh, problems. God damn. Guess you're fuck not you. getting my money. I was going to pay my fucking bill. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you and your problems. Fucking Jennifer in reception needs to get home for her sitcom. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Like I'm looking at my watch, and I'm like, oh, I guess I can get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> get fucked, of course. go, but I go kick rocks, man. Ow. Just on Fridays. <laughs> Just on Fridays. Yeah, I want. I I've been trying to go to that liquidation place with Leslie, the one that we got the mossy oak. Uh, the Plymouth liquidation. Yeah, the Plymouth liquidation, but it's only open. It only. It's only open until like three. Like every day Is of it? the week. Yeah. Huh. Or at least that's what it says, like online. And I'm like, 
I feel like every... we definitely have gone there past three. I don't know. That guy makes his own fucking rules. He does. He'd come up and put six things on the counter, he'll eyeball it, and be like, alright, 250. Yeah. <laughs> he really does. But, um... I yeah. mean, it's his own shop. So. Yeah, it's it's a liquidation. I don't, I don't really expect much else, to be honest. But... I've been trying to go, but every time I get out of work, it's after three. In, in fact, it's like yeah. 430 when I get out of work. I'm like, ugh. Just tell them that you gotta leave early. Dude, I should. <laughs> it's a good idea. Hey, what are they gonna do? Tell you no? Hey, me and my girlfriend have to leave early for, uh, no reason. Uh, <laughs> gotta, go no reason. I gotta go buy expired chocolate bars from Plymouth. <laughs> I'm yeah, going was... to the doctor's office. <laughs> I, I was telling John, uh, I went... I went down the load side for a day, just to experience it. Yeah. And, uh, fucking sucks. Fucking blows <laughs> ass. It was not cool. I, I mainly just went down there because I was like, oh, I want to work with Leslie one day. It could be cool. Yeah. Dude, it was not fun. I went down there for one day, and the back pain that I had when I was doing it last time came back. In, like, a very, <sighs> like, mellow form, but it definitely is there. And it has been a couple days since then, and I still feel it. Jesus. Cool. And apparently, like, a bunch of people were, like, asking, like, Leslie, like, yo, is, like, that your boyfriend, or is, like, that your brother? That's just, like, five what? dudes, like, asking her, like, if I'm, like, her boyfriend or her brother. And, like, the one guy, like, tripled down. Because, like, we were in a trailer, and, like, she caught some guy, like, looking in, like, being, like, weird. Yeah. And, I don't, and she told me about it. She's like, I don't know, it just kind of pissed me off. I don't know who that is. I'm like, okay, valid. And, uh, then she went on to tell me, she's like, oh, it's that guy right there. I'm like, all right, well, I have no fucking idea who that is, but, um, they're probably just being weirdo. I don't know. And then, apparently today, like, he got in a trailer with her and was like, asking, like, a bunch of questions. Like, yo, so, like, is that your boyfriend? Or, no, no, he asked, is that, like, your brother? Like, why aren't you loading with your brother today? She goes, well, that was my boyfriend. And he goes, what? Really? She's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, y'all look alike. And Thank she's God. like, she's like, no. <laughs> Calling the bluff like actually it was my brother. Yeah. She's like, nah. <laughs> nah. And she's like, no, we, we don't. She's like, He's like, yeah, you do. No, she's you like, don't. She's like, no, I, I, I don't. I don't. We don't look the same. And, uh. It's also, like, quite a, quite a difference in, like, uh, ethnicity. Yeah, I'd she's say so. <laughs> and then uh, apparently, like for the rest of the day, he like was like throwing her looks and like staring at her, and I don't fucking know, man. Cretinous behavior, yeah, weird. Fight him. Yeah, I think, I think you're gonna need to, you know, beat his ass inside one of the trailers. I'll throw him through the yeah. fucking sorter, dude. <laughs> Wall him in behind a bunch of boxes back there. <laughs> <laughs> you got a trash compactor, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. the, like, oh, the man. Him. And it'd be a shame if you fell in the trash compactor. Just throw sure. like a half used vape pen in there and then watch it go <laughs> like squirrel. And I'm like not, and I'm not like the type of per like, I don't know if I've told you guys, but like this relationship, like I just feel like so comfortable. Like I don't, like I trust Leslie like a thousand percent. And like, I just don't feel insecure. Like I have in like pretty much every other relationship I've been in. And not like for like any reasons that is anybody that I've dated so far. It's just my own brain like projecting shit. It's bad. Like I told you, the anxiety. It's bad. But it it just feels like so cool. Like Leslie doesn't even feel like like girlfriend. She really, like she feels like one of you guys. Like just like really cool and like just like a that's friend. Good. Yeah, no, it's it's really it's really different. And I really like it. So like that's why I'm like I like when she told me I just kind of like laughed. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. Like, I'm not like, yo, who the fuck is that? Like, you know, like, you know, like typical boyfriend response. I don't care, because I know she's not going to do anything. Like, right. Especially we're like, friends, she clearly doesn't like this attention. No, <laughs> we're like literally, not in like an unhealthy way, but we're like, we're like, basically like obsessed with each like other. Like brother and sister. Oh yeah, no, the one guy was like, <laughs> the one guy was like, oh yo, so you brother and sister? I'm like, uh, he's like, he's like, is that like your girlfriend or what? I'm like, well, I'm like, she's my cousin, but she's also my girlfriend, you know, uh, <laughs> I was like, and he's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, 
And I was <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who these fucking people are. I don't fucking care what they think or whatever, but it's just weird activity. Yeah, definitely. And I, I'm not concerned whatsoever, because be there's just no reason to be. <laughs> yeah, the one dude was, like, trying to give her, like... Yeah, he even said, like, so far, as like, you know, like, I ain't checking you out or anything, but, like, I noticed, like, you got, like, wide hips, and, like, you know, like, if you keep working out, like... I'm gonna... not checking you out, but I was checking I'm you not... out, and damn, your hips are wide. So basically, he was, like, <laughs> damn. she's told me, like, she's told me, like, this guy is her friend, and I'm like, alright, whatever. Like, he's just trying to help her. But, like, he was basically, like, oh, you know, if you keep working out and you keep eating, like, this specific food... Like, you know, like, you're gonna get toned. Like, I'm not checking you up, but, like, you got, like, wide hips, so, like, when you do it, you're gonna get blah, 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 many... blah. <laughs> if you keep doing the way you're doing, you're gonna have all the traits that are good th th for reproduction, and yeah. the girls will like that. I was like, <laughs> at first, I was like, I, like I said, like, I really genuinely mean this. Like, I don't care. Like, obviously, if somebody's like, yo, but like, yo, like, I'm trying to fuck, I'm like, alright, man, like, like, back <laughs> off. But, like, I'm not. I'm not worried. I just really am not. Uh, so I went up to the guy. I'm like, hey, man. And I literally said it like this. I was like, hey, man. I was like, you know, instead of recommending her, like, protein, like, rich uh, food, you should uh, get her stuff that's going to make her stomach, like, like, real queasy. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I'm trying to I'm trying to smell her farts. Not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to smell those farts. Like, like mm, I'm trying to eat them for dinner. You know what I mean? And he's like, uh, I'm like, yeah, There's man. no like, way you actually said that. I did. I genuinely did. I mean, he may have, he may have sensed that I was joking, but I, I swear to God, I did. I was like, I was like, I'm trying to smell those delicious farts. I was like, if you can get anything that'll make like your feet like really smelly too, like, ugh. I was like, cause you know. There's no way. I don't believe. I did. You. No. <laughs> I, if I don't you, internet this. If you haven't, if you have an opportunity to ask Leslie, you can ask her. But, uh, I, I, that's what I said, because I'm like, I, I want these guys to know, like, alright, she, she's taken, but I also don't give a fuck, like, I'm not gonna come up and be like, hey, punk, stop talking to her, because I don't care, yeah, punk. you know what I mean, like, I don't care, I'm not gonna be that guy, <laughs> Ooh, I don't, I don't feel a need freaky. to be that guy, but yeah, that's what I said, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I want him to think about that every time. Uh, this, is, this is a double standard, they would never ask a bro about his childbearing hips. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have all the traits that, that I believe will be good for male and female reproduction. It's just super it's weird. That you're also a male. <laughs> <laughs> if only. But M people, Craig moment. The people don't know that her and I are together because, like, one, she's pretty new, and two, I'm always up on top of the sorter, and like they never see me, like unless like we're walking in together. But I, I don't work with those people really. So. so, on a related note, whenever I go out to eat with, like, my sister and her kids, it's terrible. Because she's only 30 and I'm 21. We look really similar, but we also don't look that similar. People always think I'm, like, her boyfriend. <laughs> and it's really fucking annoying. That sounds very annoying. It is really annoying. I'm like, no, I'm a brother. I'm their uncle. Please stop. Are, are yeah. you the father? No. Oh, absolutely God. not. <laughs> Is your kid going to be able to finish this? Ugh. We're... Oh, my God. I, we went to fucking... What is it called? The Bougie Stupid Bread Store? I don't know. We probably uh, went to different stores. The Bread Place. No, oh, um... Panera oh. Bread. Panera oh. Bread. Oh. Took me to fucking Panera her. Bread Bougie. after we went to get my phone. And like the waitress was like, "Are you the father?" I was like, "I hope not." <laughs> <laughs> For both of our sakes, I hope not. <laughs> That'd yeah. be extremely bad. Yeah. And Jesus. illegal. Only in some states. Yeah, only in some states. The <laughs> start of. Oh, I'm alive. What do you want, Justin? I'm alive. I feel nothing. Res, res, I res. don't feel pain. Every time I see God of War, I think of that. Every yes, time. Every, every time I see something of the new God of War, I just yeah. I just think of that guy. I can't 
feel pain. I feel How about you feel some nothing. bitches? Okay, I, I, I've almost gotten. Latrell, if I put you in a clan war, are you gonna attack? Maybe. Do you? Are you active <laughs> on that game or no? Maybe. Is James troops built. James told me to put you in next war, but I don't know. I don't know. I I don't <laughs> doubt your ability, but I don't. I doubt your attendance. <laughs> I'll definitely <laughs> attack. Uh... You know, at work, I get all this time, you know. Yeah, you do, that's right. Look through every gotcha game I have. Mm. <laughs> Play Dokkan? No, I, I actually only saw Legends the other day because I ran out of space. Damn. League of Legends? I'm on your phone? Uh, Dragon Ball Legends? <laughs> bro, yeah, Dragon League Ball this, Dragon Ball that, bro. They need to just pick one Dragon Ball name. There's Dragon Ball Z, there's Dragon Ball Super, there's Dragon Ball, I have no bitches, they're like, I, I'm just tired of it. I can't keep track. I've never watched the show, I can't keep track. It sounds like a you issue, why don't you watch the show? Fuck that show. <laughs> you should watch the Broly movie, actually. I don't even know which show to watch, if I were to watch one. There's one show, there's one show. No, bro, God. there's like, there's like Dragon Ball Z, it's there's like Dragon Ball Super, more, there's like Dragon Ball this, Dragon, Dragon Ball that, and I'm it. tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. I don't even know which one, one to watch. Story. Which it's, one? It's, a, it's, a <laughs> it's one story. Which Fuck that. one? <laughs> Fuck that. I hate Straight it. Straight line. I hate it. I hate it because I don't this... understand it, and I'm upset for not uh, taking the time to do so. So for that, I hate it. Fair. What That's me when I get told to play another game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watch One Piece, Michael. Oh, um, that is 700 bit. years wrong. Bro, you know, it'll... It'll take <laughs> Bro, I swear it gets good around episode 230. It gets good around episode 500. <laughs> my, cousin, <laughs> my cousin literally today was like, I stopped watching Black Clover. Keep in mind, only has like 120 episodes, and she's like, "I started watching One Piece," and I'm like, "Oh no!" I was Not like, "You won't." I was like, "You won't no. be finished with that until like, you're out of college." Yeah, right? <laughs> the band that does the Black Clover openings, they go kind of hard. No, they're that's amazing. They're they're great. <laughs> when are they? When are they continuing the season? They like, no. <laughs> they like stopped. They, they huh? The, there's still new chapters, but they just like stopped the show. I don't, For no I fucking don't reason. I had to... <sighs> Anime pisses me off. I still, have to watch... I still have to watch the new Attack on Titan season. Well, I guess like the but last The show's one. still going? I thought it was over. No, the one... The... It is over, but the shit that came out like months ago. Yeah. It's like the last part of the second season. Or the last part of the last season. <sighs> Who? Cares. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> so Mike, are you just playing like My on like a fucked day up... One PS4 controller. Are you just playing like on a fucked up computer? I'm on a decent laptop. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, my real computer's fucked. I mean, it, at this point, the laptop and my real computer, they weren't comparable, but the laptop is better at things than my real computer is. <laughs> In terms of speed, the laptop is faster. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't better than Sonic Origins. No, it wasn't. But that game's <laughs> trojan. It is. Losing my mind. Well, you this better is, like, catch it. This, this is an intellect <laughs> free. I need, like, extra assistance, real quick. Wait, what? Let me see. What? <laughs> what a thrill. Like, okay. Nice. Feel my heart. Look, show us. Show us the point of failure. Ah. Uh, 
<laughs> Fuck. Oh, I, oh, he's just he's just working on it, you know. Like I get him to move, and that guy like actually turns around and shows me a death cut scene. <laughs> oh man, I don't remember how I got through this and I did this. I think I honestly just lucked out and flew into the fucking like checkpoint before getting caught. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, diff. Skill diff. Yeah, there you go. Skill issue. Like, is there another one in here? I'd actually shit and piss. Fuck off, 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 stop. Please! That one image of the... What do they call those stick figures? Stick figures. Stick like figure. the... Stick figure. Stick <laughs> there you go. Into the help nerd. Oh my god. Easy. I, I don't know. What what are you talking about? What kind of? They're like the the like the troll face analogs. Oh, I. I uh, oh, oh, fuck! You, I forgot what they're. Called. Yeah, I can't think of it either. I know they have a name. Yeah, they they do. It's not the Wojaks you're talking about, is it? No, no, Wojaks are separate. They're like the rage, like the old meme faces, like the troll face. <laughs> rage face. Ra yeah, rage face. Oh yeah, faces. rage comics. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. I got my spiky shield. It's weird that those are relevant, ironically. They've just yeah. never gone away. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I think fish. troll face could stick around, but the rest of them are stupid. I think that's why they're sticking around. I like Clueless. I think Clueless is hilarious. Oh yeah, Clueless, <laughs> Clueless came back on Twitch, or at least that's where I've seen it, and I love it. I love, I love Aware, Clueless. Uh, he has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, stupid doesn't know. Gravity is a harness. <laughs> I've harnessed the harness. Very well. Let my hand you got your no, harness right here. my feet? <laughs> right here. Nice. I got my spiky I got your shield. this right here. I got your right here. <laughs> Absolutely massive, it's true. I got your X right here. I'm glad Matt cock, picked up my one. locks very hard. <laughs> Have you guys seen my new uh, Souls character in the Discord? I saw a thing. I didn't know what it was. It's called I don't the... know what these games are by looking at them. It's called the Gatekeeping Lib. Pronouns? The Gatekeeping Lib. Yeah, what are what are their pronouns? What did you pick? Uh, Sir, gatekeeper. <laughs> I gave her the, the blue liberal <laughs> hair. Gatekeeper. <laughs> the blue liberal hair with the eyeliner. And she has, dark, she has uh, dark circles around her eyes. Cause she's been up all night <laughs> correcting people on she's Twitter. She's been up all night being a millennial. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. <laughs> and despite <laughs> being only uh, 25, she has gray hairs from the stress of uh, <laughs> having to carry user. the entire, mm -hmm. uh, you know, social hierarchy on her back. You should have gave her a goatee. I really liked it. Oh, to make either. her like what? <laughs> Pronouns or gatekeeper. To make her like trans? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all the... Uh testosterone that's pumping through her vein. I should give her a beard, shouldn't I, to make her like trans. <laughs> no name gaslight. No name gaslight. I might do that. <laughs> Pokemon hypno. Women grow facial hair. True. Mm -hmm. No I they see, don't, that's I a myth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a myth. I could see something being posted up like, by women. Don't shave your facial <laughs> hair. Yeah. Just myth made like, up by women who want men to shave. Alter body. <laughs> Praise Allah, that is all around to show oh. <laughs> Can I get a beard, please? Need no, in this I, that has hair. also decided that I can't have one. Damn it. It's also been decided that I can't have one. I, sh I just recently shaved. At least it, if like... the uh, if, if the genetic uh, pattern keeps up, I won't have one until I'm 30. Genetic skill Damn. issue. <laughs> it is a genetic skill issue. It plagues my family. I shaved my uh, like my bottom beard because like it's like really patchy and I don't care, but it's like patchy like right in the middle. So like I just it's like yeah. I have like these like two spots, and I look like a fucking idiot. 
<laughs> so I, I want to shave them and them. see if they come back like thicker. Because I haven't shaved them in like over a year. It's because I don't care. But I, I'm okay yeah, I with my like little mustache. Yeah, I look is extremely in right now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> People that I just see who have just given up. <laughs> <laughs> they must be in. Yeah. Feels that way. <laughs> Ew. This character looks fucking I disgusting. Look... I look the same as I did in middle school. You and I were catching me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Latrell. Okay, we know you're insecure about it. I shampoo and shave every day, and I lather up in cocoa butter after every shower. You shampoo? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I moisturize. I, I don't know why, but like, that's I just, a recent thing. When I just think of you, I think of you having like, like no hair at all. <laughs> well, not also, like no hair at all, but my like. My mental image of you as very short hair, Latrell. I don't yeah, know if very, that's game. Very short hair. It's because in the summer I have to get sheared like a sheep. You know how <laughs> terrible having that hair is. Dude, I got that hair too, man. It's uh. <laughs> you gotta line up. Who's your barber? Yo, shout out to my barber. I don't, I don't, I don't get lineups. I just let my. I'm trying to grow my hair out. Damn, your hairline isn't a trapezoid. Look at this guy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Breaking the mold. I got that, that Wilfred hairline. I'm not getting anything better. How? Wilfred? I'm so sorry. Like the. Uh, it's the Wilson. Don't Starve character. Oh, okay. Oh, Wilson. Wilson. God damn it. There. New character. I knew who you were talking about after you said that. <laughs> Got the Don't Starve haircut. That's a really grown <laughs> He Got the Don't Starve cut. Don't Starve. I think I might change the beard to be, like, black. Because, like, why would you dye your beard? <laughs> well, <laughs> People got their beards. I know, but on this particular female. Okay. Is that Demi Lovato? <laughs> what? I mean, Demi, Demi Lovato went back to female pronouns. Did she? I don't know. I saw some shit about <laughs> yeah, that. That, that. That could be completely fake, for all I know. I don't know. I feel like that's bait. Okay. I didn't know that Demi Lovato did that. Yeah. I didn't know it till like a couple months ago. I, I remember hearing about it when it happened, but I forgot. Like it's oh. gone. I don't think I didn't know about it until I think it was I think it was on that one spooky Saturday, Micah, where they p fucking played that video of her talking or singing yeah. to ghosts. And yeah. I think that was when I learned that she had like she was she was she was they them. Yeah. Yeah. No. That, that video uh, was awful. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I never want to see that again. No. Weird how I haven't heard anything about them since they did that. It's almost like they were suppressed. <laughs> so strange. <laughs> Volatile, suppressed, smart project. <laughs> Yesterday I was on route to actually like win the Spelunky HD daily when the fucking graphics card died. <laughs> that was cosmic intervention it was cosmic intervention i had the perfect seed for it and i was doing extremely well i had like 40 health every item in the game i had been i'd managed to get all the gems ghosted in like every level a fucking small particle shot out of the sun and fried your fucking gpu <laughs> your p the said no. <laughs> Ooh. That's all. That's what God said as he did it. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Ooh, wow, the graphics look so realistic. Gatekeeping <laughs> <laughs> lib. Hmm. I really never light this bonfire. No bonfire. Well, Shit the fuck! I fucking knew you were gonna card. say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say it. On all bridge. All bridge. Just got my funny shield on you. I'm all it. I'm all bitches. Oh Christ! All right, I gotta go drink my my protein shake. My shake and shake. I've been thinking about how the human body requires too much. 
Humans are too expensive. I have to dump 3,000 proteins into my body every day. Well, 3,000 calories into my body every day. <laughs> 3,000 grams of protein. 3,000. Mm. No, just protein. Mm. <laughs> I've been I've on a, a three-day streak, and I've already gained 10 pounds. Pretty Ooh, cool. Is that an ant nest? <laughs> oh, yeah, my beef. I was like, why am I hungry? I've been thawing beef all day. I haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> Ooh, beef? Mm, beef? I bought a taco mm. kit. I'm about to make coffee. Shit. All spam tastes the same. Extremely bro. late at night to do that. So. Oh hey, well. Sour cream fan. Hell yeah. Um, only oh. in certain things, and like I never buy it because I never think about. It. It's so oh my oh. oh. I like what? it. Like it's not bad. I just <laughs> what? I never think about it. Sour cream I, is never on my mind. I get a caulk gun and fill it with a sour cream. <laughs> you fill a Boston cream with sour cream? Boston Actually, sour how... cream. Uh, got cream on the brain. That's how they did it. Sour they had a, like, a little, little caulk sour cream gun and you go <laughs> all over the taco. <laughs> the that's how that they do it, huh? The brain, bro. That's trade yeah. secrets. <laughs> M's are trade <laughs> secrets. I was teaching my friend, my roommate Justin, how to like order Subway. He didn't know apparently. <laughs> what? Oh, I lied. He I feel was like very that's... bad. I feel like that's fairly like, here your... I give him the trade secret. I still uh, replicate my sh my trade secrets on uh, whenever somebody orders Wednesday, uh, Wendy's or they're like, what are my options for this? I'm like, they're gonna ask you. For just me or everybody? No, he's he's cutting up. Oh, sorry. I mean, it seems like you're back. Not for long. I heard Wendy. <laughs> it's okay. Wendy. Don't worry about it. Wendy. Motherfucking Wendy. Who is Shorty the Monkey? Connor. He still hasn't accepted my friend request. Oh my god. How dare he. <laughs> I can... You are not real. This is the same scammer that was on my profile the other day. We're not real. Get off my Steam profile. <laughs> he wants your unusuals. He he they actually unusuals. do. They're constantly feeding for my usual hats. <laughs> <laughs> With my three minus reps. <laughs> oh no. I've never been officially like debunked on steam rep just people on my profile seem to get mad at me <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how much weight that holds it, like not not unless you're literally <laughs> yeah, food trading okay but also like minus reps on your profile actually mean nothing they're just funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, mad. <laughs> That's all that says. It's like if you were mad. <laughs> yeah, I, I am mad. So I, I am mad. Take it out on this person's profile. He killed me in TF2 minus rep. <laughs> <laughs> He's hacking. I swear. This is vegetable out of my chair. Vegetable? Vegetable. 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 She ain't even causal, bruh. Cause? <laughs> cause? Cause? Open a cause? Grant a size? The cinema stockpile is jacked up full of good videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just like like contributing to your cinema stockpile. It's so funny. 
I noticed that the funny has like died for the past three weeks and suddenly like hourly shit post becomes a thing on Twitter and that's like the new funny. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> what happened to the funny? The murder <laughs> Where did the funny go? <laughs> The funny was killed behind closed doors or replaced with hourly ship posts. <laughs> yeah. I, it seems to me like it seems likely to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I should play RimWorld. I was like, what games do I have on this left? <laughs> I've been playing nothing but RimWorld for the past week. Have you ever won? Because I've never won. Oh yeah, I normally I finish most of my colonies. Except for my last one. My last one got shit on. And I'm approaching yeah. eight hundred. I'm approaching a thousand hours, and I've never finished a game. <laughs> I ADHD energy. I'm doing my first. Uh, have, have, have you ever done an ice colony? It was just like one of the first things I tried to do, and it shit on me really bad. And I yeah. tried again, and I died. And I tried again. Every time I try, I'm like, "Where are the resources?" That that's but that was my struggle too. But I I finally have gone back to it and I'm doing one successfully currently. Do you, do you start on the ice sheet or do you build a colony and then move them over? I started on it, mm. and basically just blitzed my way towards hydroponics and solar power. How do you survive between then and now? Uh, the like, twenty five fucking survival packages for food <laughs> they last that long um no make them last that long <laughs> yeah well, i'll make them last that long and mm -hmm. also forcing my poor colonists to eat anybody that decided to attack us so here's what you do you build cannibalism in your ideology yeah that's what i did <laughs> <laughs> and then you up your research for free because that's free why would yep. you ever not have your ideology be like research loved <laughs> we love researching six seven times I, faster now i decided to like make it extra just fuck you hard and set permanent toxic fallout game condition condition which was not <laughs> as big of a problem as i thought it was going to be until I mean, my main can't... until my main offensive guy got fucking dementia from it <laughs> oh and now every once in a while he'll just have like a little confusion episode where he'll wander outside of, like, the boundaries I've set in the areas and then go stand outside in negative 80 degree weather, breathing in toxic waste. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's like, oh my you God. fucking idiot. Matt, when you don't have enough beds, do your fucking cons just decide to go to sleep in the freezer? Yeah. I, think I don't know I, why the freezer is where they always <laughs> go, but that's where they love to go. You'll get the hyperthermia notification. You're like, yeah. what? It's Am summer. I my solution to like a freezer because it's like negative 80 out all the time is i just slapped a vent on the wall to make the freezer like super cold all the time and i i had one of my slaves fall asleep in there and i got the hypothermia thing and looked over and they're just laying in front of the vent like fucking <laughs> dying <laughs> it's like, stand the fuck up oh, it hurt. Dumbass. get up and leave <laughs> oh my hands turned purple and it's falling off uh, time for a nap <laughs> I, I just imagine them like th laying there curled up in a ball sh like shivering <laughs> shivering slightly twitching every now and then hey, oh why am i so cold <laughs> why why spongebob why yeah that's, that's how my ice sheet's been going it's it, it's fun i want to get rid of all my mods and try to play legitimate I thought about doing that, and then like I was going through my mod list, and I was like, "Damn, I don't want to play without that one." I don't need the. I need this one. I need. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Wall lights. Do you have wall lights? Yeah, I have wall lights. I can't go without wall lights. Yeah. Do you have, fuck, do you have any of the storage dips. mods or the or ogre stack? Uh, yeah, I have ogre stack. Yeah, I have ogre stack. <laughs> <laughs> I I you ten survival meals. Yeah. Um, what was one of the big ones I couldn't live without? Uh, I can't think of what the fuck it's called now. Shit. Hold on. Oh, uh, pawns Save don't just die. Which is just like, th there's like a small chance whenever a pawn goes down that they might just like die instead. Yeah, I have raiders. Raiders never die, right? Uh, I have pawns just don't die. 
or don't just oh, die. I have but, I have another. Yeah. I guess there's multiple mods that solve this problem. The, yeah. the, you can remove that manually in like your scenario editor. Oh, without yeah, mods, true. but <laughs> the mods make it much more convenient. Yeah, I also have uh, no like allow or no no fucking animal pens because unironically I kind of hate that feature. I, I just like being used able to, to it. I just like being able to stick an animal into an assigned zone, and that's that. So what you do is you just place down a caravan trading spot because in a patch they made it so that you can rope the caravan spots even uh, when they're not setting up for caravans. Yeah. So you just you just put down a caravan spot and then your fourteen llamas are just stuck in one spot forever. And if mm -hmm. they run out of food, just move the caravan spot. Okay. Well, I'm still gonna That's keep it. that turned off for now because it's invested really easy with it. to deal with now. I. I don't build a pen until I'm, like, late into the colony now. Yeah. Until I've got, like, technology, then I build the pen. That, that's one thing that I've been, like, dealing with on the ice sheet, is I am clinging to, like, every pack animal I can get. Caravanning is so fucking hard when I can't get any animals to carry anything. Because <laughs> the ice sheet is just a barren wasteland. I never, like, caravan because, like, it's not worth it. Trading with the other settlements is not worth it. Oh, no, I, I just do it to, like, go out and hit all of the 30 mounting quest markers on the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, but, like, even then, unless it's, like, a, a mechanoid thing that's, like, come and get us, I'm basically yeah. never leaving. Fuck you, I don't want to. The caravan I'm... system is too much effort. <laughs> I have a lot of mods that add in a lot of different quest things, so I, I do them a lot. Oh yeah, like, I had a few mods like that that added, like, faction interaction quests. Yeah. But I ended up turning them off because they break shit all the time. Oh. I don't know how. How do you make a mod that adds a simple quest and now it breaks other things? I don't know. I, there, there was one I remember having... Have you ever used any of the Rim of Madness mods? They added. Yeah, like, no, uh, I got rid of that. I used them once, yeah. and I was like, oh no, these don't work. Yeah, I I have the Colts one still, because that one doesn't seem to break much of anything, my use at least. But the Vampires one, that one no. fucking. The game <laughs> implodes on itself. God forbid you take, like, a vampire prisoner and keep him in the same prison as the. Uh, as like a normal prisoner, for some reason that would just make your colonists stop putting any food in the prison, <laughs> and ev everyone will just starve. <laughs> what the fuck? Since in vanilla, you can't assign prison beds. It's like get fucked. Yeah. I tried um, running like the the better pyromania mod, and it broke. Oh, I don't know like, that one is. Oh, so it makes the pyromaniac trait have, like, good things about it. Oh, okay. Like, if you okay. give them a bow, sometimes they'll shoot flaming arrows, and in melee combat, they'll, like, light people on fire. Oh, that's kind of neat. And you can manage their, like, uh, pyromaniac's freeze by just having them light shit on fire. The yeah. The problem is that the fire need never filled for whatever reason. Some mod conflict. Oh. I could never get their need to fill, so they were just all... It would give them a horrible, like, minus 20 mood lit. They were like, no fire? <laughs> no fires? No fire. <laughs> I had to turn it off because they, they hated the free thing and started, like, kept burning shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds, I mean, that that's an awful conflict, yeah. The only thing I could get to bring the meter up was if I made them meditate at fire, that would bring it up. Oh. So even though they had no psychic ability, they had them meditating. <laughs> I mean, at least that fixed it, but that's, that's a very odd uh, workaround. They were spending, like, half their day meditating. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, no. There is one that I had installed at some point. I think it was called, like, Recon and Discovery or some shit. And it, it was supposed to add in more world event things that you can explore. But for some reason, whenever I'd go to any of the events on the map, it would, like, load me into the map, and then the world would just, like, that map that it generated would just, like, collapse in on itself, and I'd lose the colonists, and everything would be gone. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I went on to the mod page for it, 
because it was it was forked over from like the original mod owner or creator and oh, the person who had, who had taken it name? over uh oh god i can't i know yeah they they, they carry over like fucking dozens of mods but he's the god of the workshop everything yeah. that's good on the workshop was fixed by him but <laughs> like right in the description the guy was like yeah uh don't go to any of the world events they're kind of fucking broken and i i have no clue how to fix them so if anyone wants to help feel free it's like oh okay sounds like a make a new mod moment yeah sounds like a don't keep Rest this up on the shop <laughs> restart this <laughs> Raid arrives in point nine hours. They will target the space drone. Did I already hack the space drone? Oh my god, they're not even... Nobody's doing it. Oh uh, no, you're not going to get your relic information. Zero, seven, fifty. Nobody was doing it while I sat here talking. Oh, that that was a fun mod I played with. Have you ever used the um, vanilla expanded mechanoids? Yeah, but I've never used it. Oh, and I, I did a playthrough, like a full fucking colony with the Igor Invader storyteller from that mod. That was fucking mm. brutal. He does just like, like scheduled raids every like seven days or some shit. <laughs> but if you beat them without any of your colonists like getting fucked up, he rewards you. Got him. Um, maybe I shouldn't have them try to hack it when the raid's gonna be here soon. This could just be like... A good way to farm shit. Free infinite raids. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll build Just, a wall around it. Fuck you. No wealth. Because I I'm really good at the wealth micromanaging now. Oh, I am not. All my colonies are dirt floors. I'll I'll go from like two hundred thousand colony wealth, and then like you know two two like play sessions on that colony, I'll be at like six point three million, and I'll be like, oh, why the fuck are my raids so hard now? <laughs> what happened? And then I'll like, gloss over at my like, gloss over at my colony that's now full of like sterile metal tiles. And be like, oh yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I decided yeah. to put in good flooring, and now the raiders have doomsday launchers. Oh, does this mod, does this save still have the fucking pyromania mod? It does? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Damn it! Extinguished minus ten. There is no warmth, no light. <laughs> there is no <laughs> this world is empty it's exactly what it says <laughs> does it actually <laughs> but it says I feel cold and empty <laughs> <laughs> go, go burn that raider and maybe you'll feel better about it <laughs> go light someone on fire you'll feel better about yourself damn it oh no they're they're attacking the space drone. What? What exactly? What? What exact quest is this? Why care about this relic? They'll get super mad if I let the relic go, though. I'm sure. Have you Have you ever gotten one of the relics and put it in like a relic quarry and had the people come visit it? I have. I did I'm that. Kind of stuffed. Yeah, I, I did that for like the first time in this colony, and I, I saw the thing that was like, oh, they might reward you afterwards, and I got an award from them, and it was like a cargo pod of like 56 luciferium. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think there might be a chance that they try to steal it. Oh. I haven't seen that, though. That's just my guess, right? Because the, it whatever, would make sense. is like evil, or whatever his name is. So yeah. I have a feeling that's how that works. And it wouldn't make sense for this to only ever be a positive outcome for you. I mean, it is a lot of work to get the thing, so maybe it is... Like, yeah, true. ...periodic reward. But I don't know, I think like 80,000 worth of Luciferium was... ...the <laughs> dagger I had on a shelf. <laughs> All of this needs rescue already. How are you so bad? Oh, you got <laughs> oh you got shot fourteen times. <laughs> oh, grow up. So sad. Grow up. <laughs> Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> I could grow a pair, why don't you? Base drone only has hundred and ninety eight health left. 
What? What did you do? Oh my god, muscle parasites. How uh, elbow again. blade. <laughs> I didn't realize that the fucking leader of the colony had muscle parasites. Fuck. Damn it, the person who got down was the one who was hacking the thing. <laughs> So annoying. Ooh, you got riddled with bullets. So sad. <laughs> Get the fuck back on the computer. <laughs> Get back onto the <laughs> computer. <laughs> Your job is over when I say it's over. <laughs> you can I have the lightsaber mod, and it's good. hella OP, but it's also a lot of work to make them, so I don't feel bad about it. I installed a mod that adds in fucking... Senator Armstrong's nano machine heart, and that thing is ungodly <laughs> expensive to make. Extremely broken. <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, also extremely broken. I've uh, I've decided to install it. So I also have the Immortals mod because I think it's cool. I and think I that have... mod is like extremely universal. A lot of people have it. Yeah, I, I have a slave in my colony currently who's the only one with the immortality thing. So what I've done with them is slap them in the tankiest armor I have and give them like a bunch of tanky implants like the nano machine heart and every raid I just jump pack them into the center of the enemies and just let them <laughs> stay in there and eat hits <laughs> while everyone kills the raiders <laughs> and if they die then like three days later they just come crawling back in from the battlefield and lay down in a hospital <laughs> bed <laughs> that's that's their whole existence in my colony <laughs> I didn't realize I can send the slaves to hack the space drone. Alright, that's your job now. <laughs> it's your turn to get riddled with bullets. Oh my god, there's a wildfire around it now? How could this be any worse? <laughs> Don't say that, it will get worse. This fucking... I you have ideology expanded? Yeah. Oh, no, no, I don't. I don't have ide ideology Extremely expanded. Extremely good mod. No, the space drone's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna break. Bro, how can the space drone be on fire that's in space? No, bro, it's a grounded space drone. Mm, Damn it. That makes sense now. Extremely grounded. Grounded? Oh my god. I hate that they don't undraft after rescuing people. Yeah. This the space drone is is forfeit. <laughs> Not gonna survive. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> There's so many fires on it. <laughs> Put it out. I've never had this quest fail before. I don't think I have either. I've come close, um, definitely. Quest failed. Oh. Let's see. What does that mean? Are, are the colonists mad? I feel like they'd be really mad. Oh, they broke up with you? That's so sad. <laughs> Tragic. No, I guess they just don't care that they lost access to the relic. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Another space drone will fall from the sky. Yeah, they're fucking space thrown fall from the I got fifty uranium for just accepting it and failing. <laughs> no, that's worth it. That's that's another mod I have installed is better quest rewards. I'm sick of getting stupid bullshit like a fucking uranium dining table for killing sixty man hunting <laughs> bears. Did you know that you can set it so that you don't get favor from trades? Yeah, I did, actually. I didn't know that until, like, 500 <laughs> per hour. I always keep it on I guess I'll for, save like, uh, for, like, the royalty faction, the empire faction. So I just turn it off on them. Like, I don't, I don't want it from you. Yeah, everyone else, I don't care about, like... I, 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 I'm okay with favor, but for the Empire, I'm like, yeah, just go fuck off. <laughs> no, I keep it on for the Empire, because I, I like... Really? They, don't, well, they won't trade with you unless you have, like, account. 
Yeah, I, I normally try to keep someone high uh, standing with the Empire. Yeah, I usually just, just like... like don't. <laughs> I just don't take the quest. I do it because um, I, I like using the... What the fuck does the game call them? The, the like little permissions you gain with it. You can call in like a oh, fucking cataphract squad and shit. It's actually way more useful than any of the psychic powers. Yeah, honestly, the psychic... <laughs> most of them, except for like pain suppression and berserk, are kind of worthless. Invisibility. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Walk into the back lines and get killed by five people. Yeah. My moment. <laughs> Spy deep cloaking. <laughs> Anywhere on the map. It's like a it's like a video of a guy being Oh I got it. You are red hot. This battle is supposed to be red hot. Now go. Brewing. This laptop was not built yeah. for RimWorld. It gets mad, it gets hot, and the fan goes really fast every time I do it. Yeah, so did my laptop when I used one for it. I don't I don't think most laptops can handle it. Especially not modded. My mods are very lightweight. I mostly keep... See, I have, like, different mod lists for each save. I sort of tweak it for each playthrough. Oh, yeah, I do that a bit, too. But then I, I get play... fucked when I try to play, like, oh, I'll go back to this save. Oh, what does this one have? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I think one of my last colonies, I played with Glitter Tech, I think the mod was called. It just kind of adds in a bunch of overpowered bullshit. And I, it was it was cool at first. But there, there became this problem where there's a turret that you can get called a, it's like a cruise missile turret or some shit. No. And um, every NPC colony can also had it, have it. So, <laughs> like, basically any attack on an NPC colony went like, alright, my colonists show up, I load in, there's the cruise missile, and everyone's dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello, I am back. Spotted. <laughs> yeah, so it's like I am not playing with this mod again. I am um, for a while. Them? I had the Star Wars blasters mod installed. Yeah, the raiders would just spawn with Star Wars blasters and like burn holes in all my colonists. <laughs> <laughs> I keep wanting to start playing Rimworld, and I never do. It's very fun. It's very good. It's a good like I don't. It's a good what? Yeah. It's a good what? A good, I don't have anything else to do today again. Okay, nice. Yeah, I recently finished, like, all of my schoolwork so I can, like, guilt-free play games now, and it feels nice. It feels very nice. Just fucking stagger. There we go. Never stagger. Goodbye. God damn! I love that sound. Huh? 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 I love the I love the snoring, the sleeping one. <laughs> yeah. Aww, yeah, that was my favorite. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. That's an old school one. You don't hear that one much anymore. Mm -mm. I feel like if I say that out loud, people are gonna be like, "Ugh, really?" You're disgusting. Like Filthy jar, man. Um, I've been ruined. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. They deleted the tweet in between you getting it, putting it. I'm upset because I was going to give you a gift, Matt. And uh, I can't give it to you now because I'm not going to see you next week. No, he deleted it. Damn. No. <laughs> well, I mean, I can, still, I can still give it to you. But. I don't want to drive to your house either, so. But just show up at LCC and get it to me. <laughs> well, at that point, <laughs> I'd rather drive to your house. <laughs> Bro, how about this? How about you just stop at my house on your way back from LCC? Nah. No. Nah, I don't wanna. Why is this child starving? Somebody help him. And it's actually a decent gift too. Ah, uh, I'll just wait until the concert, I guess. Okay. Uh, 
Fuck. James. Hello. Hello. Is your picture Luke Skywalker? It, yeah. It's been that for a while. <laughs> Emo of, Luke Skywalker, strange. actually. Something William would talk about. A little strange. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. <laughs> yeah. Luke Skinwalker. The, the, there's, <laughs> there's context behind it, but you guys wouldn't understand. It's actually Rei Takahanashi. I think the Trell and Bologna would, though. It's Luke I Skinwalker. <laughs> James. Do I even have the full photo still? What's up, Micah? I'm catching up to you in Clash of Clans. I'll break your fucking leg, shut your mouth. I'm gonna surpass He's coming you, for you. Bitch. He's loud. I hate you, Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Don't you have a volume mixer in your brain, Michael? Come on. <laughs> you aren't a cyborg yet, you idiot? You know what? It's because I haven't used this laptop since before you fixed it. I love having to mess with my gain every time I speak. Ah, very cool. Gain some bitch. Oh my god. I got him. How the hell? James was just decimated. What the fuck? You huff paint. He wishes he had paint the huff. Who is Major Breakless? Oh, oh, here it is. Bad. What color is your favorite paint to have? Brown. What color? What color is your favorite what? <laughs> what color paint is your favorite one to have? I'm gonna brown. Uh, red number I'll... 24. I like bronze paint. <laughs> Black. Bro oh, no, I think my favorite is lead based. That's oh. not a color, you fucking. Yeah, yeah no, I'm color. just saying. I'm just saying. Idea. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, All I'm saying all... is. Hey, about bases. there's nothing wrong with huffing some lead-based paint, okay? I bet, I bet there's you a lot wrong with that relationship. No, with no you're wrong. No. 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 How about you establish a base of some relationships with some bitches? I'm going to oh kill God. myself. How could you do this to me? Mm. You fucking monster. Mm. How could you? <laughs> nice one, mm. Micah. <laughs> Is it because I'm white, Micah? What? I didn't even what? know you were white. You sound black. Oh! <laughs> you sound so black. You remind me of a Bernie Mac, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> At least I find myself more of an Eddie Murphy. Who are you with? Don, Don, no, you're definitely a Martin. A Martin. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, huh? Oh, shush, Mike. <laughs> Literally, first name that came to my mind. Who is Eddie Murphy? Eddie you... Murphy is everybody. Wait, you don't know who Eddie Murphy is? I need a refresher. I don't worship celebrities. Uh, he's an... I, um, I think he's just a straight funny man on a. Uh, he's just a stand-up, like, right? Yeah. He's a guy, right? Eddie Murphy? Does he... does he? I don't think he does stand-up. He's an actor. Oh, oh no, he's an actor. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. I'm pretty sure he does comedy. Right, I'm, think, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of Kevin Hart. <laughs> he's actually a bad dude, apparently. <laughs> Get her, like, beats his girlfriend or something. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. Eddie, Eddie Murphy was Donkey from Shrek. Wait, Kevin Eddie Hart was? beats his... Yeah. yeah! Pretty sure, yeah. Or he was, like, cheating on his never wife or something. That, to be honest. I just can't remember any of their names. Oh, wait, yeah, sure, uh, he was Donkey. There's this one movie where this, this oh, robot no. comes from space, but it's, like, a human, but it's literally just Eddie Murphy. <laughs> you know what's awful? Like, you know what you're talking about. I hate... Oh. No, I'm pretty sure Latrell's pulling this out of his ass. No, I no, no, no. usually. Have you ever seen the movie Coming, coming to America, Mike? What? Have you ever what? seen the movie Coming to America? Um, I have never seen any movies, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Same. He Good plays bye. like- I like the movies when he plays like five different <laughs> roles. Like all of them. Oh, the other three. <laughs> And the children. <laughs> who's the, who, what is the one movie where the guy <laughs> pretends to be a nanny to spend time with his kids? Matilda or uh, Medea? Is that <laughs> it? Yeah, I don't think that's a fire featuring uh, Vin Diesel. 
<laughs> I'm scratching my head. You don't know what the fuck you were talking about. Medea? The, the pacifier featuring Vin Diesel. Oh, the pacifier. <laughs> I hope that's not what it was called. It's about family. <laughs> I hope Vin Diesel learns how to act someday. <laughs> he sucks. I hope Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> I really choose between driving cars and my family. How do I? I choose driving cars with my family. He's like the modern Arnold Schwarzenegger with none of the charm. <laughs> Can't I act. Like, I liked it when he was in that Ark Survival Evolved trailer. <laughs> was he? I don't. I don't remember <laughs> that. Yeah. CG render. They use his face. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> And they start. They've been doing that lately with like movies and like like games. They keep wanting to become yeah. movies. Ugly ass. <laughs> Ugly ass. <laughs> Matt, how do I get horizon. rid of that that health debuff? Uh, use the Baldekin's blessing in your inventory. Okay. That Horizon game is also ugly ass. Ugly ass fuck. My roommate Justin's been playing it. I'm like, this is the worst, best game I've ever seen. <laughs> like, it's, it's definitely technically good, but I just hate it. Yeah. Hmm. I would much rather see people invest time in different games than that genre. I'd rather see people play Stray. I would rather Stray. see people play I'd rather see people invest time into making stylized games, not realistic games. Oh, you mean like, uh, RimWorld? The, only the best stylized art? Honestly. <laughs> oh my god. He's even said he's not an artist. Then why don't you get somebody to make art? Because I'm modding your art out of the game every time. <laughs> he knows what his game is worth. <laughs> but some of it's so bad. Yeah. He does, he literally has said that. He's like, I know what it's worth. It's never going on sale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish, that was, I wish that wasn't a real, like, thing he said. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I was thinking about that earlier when I was playing it. Like, about how just some of the artwork in the game just looks really not good. I was looking at, like, the the model for, like, an unfinished advanced component, and I was like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? I really don't mind, like, most of the items, but, like, the buildings piss me off. Okay, like, oh, the walls, the crafted walls are, like, brick. That's fine. But then yeah. you have smooth walls. You put them right next to each other, and it's the worst thing you've ever seen. And yeah. And corner is terrible. Rough stone is all bumpy, unless it's from, unless it's, like, Unless you're viewing it from the north, it's... Do you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, yeah. What game are you talking about? RimWorld. Oh. Gatekeeping like it's lib. It's smooth on the north edge, but rough on the west, south, and east. Yep. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Just don't look at it. Stay fully zoomed out all the time. Stay fully zoomed out all the time. Have you noticed that the bridges are a different color than normal wood? No. Actually, yeah, I actually <laughs> never noticed that. I don't, I don't build bridges very pallet? often. What is a pallet? Troy had that issue for so long. You would fucking take the pallet of like a weapon and it would be like 30 different shades of the same color. Yeah. It was actually like horrendous. <sighs> mm, bruh. <laughs> Fucking uh, trying to run away, from, run away from the fucking giants and their like mega range. Look at the, look at the floor in this picture. Oh, pickaxe. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I've never noticed that they're a different color like that before. What the fuck? This is a mod for that, but I haven't done it because I think it's funny. Oh, you know, uh, going back to talking about mods you can't live without anymore. 
I have a mod installed that disables like the sound of doors opening and closing, and I, I didn't know there was a sound. Yeah, it's it's like a sliding sound for the doors opening, and I used to annoy the shit out of me, and I've not played without a mod for it since like <laughs> a year ago. I play with the audio so low that I can't hear it if it exists. Oh. I have the music kind of. Uh, basically, I have this game nearly muted at all times. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, that is not a problem for you. God damn, this colony has 5,000 steel. Why don't you build something? <laughs> Three components, 5,000 steel, my face melt. Three components. Time to start turning that steel into components. Mm -hmm. I can't. They won't make fabrication. Oh. Is it cock time yet? Not quite. <laughs> We're halfway to fabrication bench. Only then. <laughs> Only then is it cock time. I'm gonna go check if it's cock time. This is the part of the game that I hate, waiting for research. Yeah. I have... Not even, like, I don't even have these mods specifically, but some of the mods I have add in a few... You can, like, attach to the research benches to make them faster. Oh no. Mm. I got fucking three-starred again. <laughs> three-starred literally every day. <laughs> oh no. I'm finally almost out of my bank supply. I haven't attacked in like actually weeks. I just defend <laughs> and I upgrade and I never need to gold because my mines are always fully upgraded. <laughs> you should request troops so that we can give you Pekas and Dragon. That's what I do. I request troops and then they kill whatever shows up to fight me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were going to say that they kill the troops. Uh, I keep dumping the money into cock. Barbarian king getting destroyed by some clan Becca. <laughs> I've dumped more money than I'd like to admit into this game. The free mobile game. Any money at all? I have literally never. I know. <laughs> but I really it's like 400%. it. 400% value. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Copium. It's better than dumping money into the vending machines at work. And that's still only that's all the justification I need. Yeah, I just drink water. <laughs> I've given up on vending machines. I bought all the pixel Wait, skins and, and I bought I bought the new background. For the In water. She for the Clash of Clans brown. base. Oh you know what's a mod I don't go without, uh Matt? What's that? I've had gradient hair since like the first week I bought this gun. Oh, I don't have that one. I also have, like, every mod in the game that adds more clothes. I don't have a lot of those. I think one of the, probably the biggest I have is, like, the vanilla expanded ones that added. Yeah, the vanilla expanded one. Now, what was this mod? It's from... Useless Clothes, which is just, like... Junk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and character Bless editor. You. Yeah, character editor I also have. It's like a necessary mod. Yeah. I don't know how you play this game without character editor. <laughs> I remember I used to only ever use the uh, prepare carefully mod. Oh, that pissed me off. I yeah. Was... And also prepared carefully doesn't work with some mods. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, I don't understand. The character editor does everything prepared carefully does, and it works while you're playing the game. Yeah, but when I heard a prepare or character editor, I was like, wait, I can just have prepare carefully mid game. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why would I not have that? Oh my good god! Oh my god! I also have a bunch of hair mods. The <laughs> what is this guy? The the Imperial dude that give like bestows a ceremony has Krusty the clown terror. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking clown. The bestower. I wanna become a bestower of life. Oh, stop leaving. Fuck. 
begin. Bro, spooky oh. Saturdays tomorrow, bro. Oh, nice. You gonna watch it? Yeah. I'm gonna watch it. I'm excited. Can't wait to watch it while I do the last three chapters of my psychology work. Fuck smart book. I need <laughs> I like three, three of those bitches in do. one day. I did three of them in like one day. On top of like a 50 I, question that quiz. Like brain rot. I can't. I can't. My brain will be fucking rolling down my shoulder. <laughs> be a puddle. <laughs> Fuck smart book. I hate that <laughs> shit. But I did it. Unironically hate McGraw Hill Connect. Uh. Unimpressive, the stoning ceremony. Yeah, maybe I'll wow. try. Maybe I'll give Rimworld a try. Do you have oh. it? No, I keep wanting to yeah, buy it, so. but I'm I like... It wasn't, wasn't like John Rasmus supposed to buy you it or something? <laughs> yeah, he was gonna buy it for me. It was like a birthday or Christmas present. It's a more expensive yeah. game than you would expect. I know, that's why I was... <laughs> How much is it? It's like 20 bucks? It's like 30, I think. Damn. 20 or 30. It's 35, I think. Oh. Damn. But, uh, yeah, I was surprised. Colonist died? Wait, who? Had a heart attack and fucking died. <laughs> this must have happened last session. I don't remember anyone dying. <laughs> um, you're dead for what you just did. It's over for you. Where's the nearest blunt object? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this elephant tusk and murdered him. <laughs> An elephant tusk. The best melee weapon this colony has because I haven't bothered to make it. Damn. <laughs> Lumbering dickhead giant. Fuck off. I'll stab you with my split dickhead. shield. What the hell? Why, what the hell? What would he hell? Hog Rider. Ha <laughs> Hog Rider. Bro, if the fucking wizards and Clash of Clans are so goddamn smart, then how come they can't uh, research more than one thing at a time? Hmm? 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 I'd love to dump my 26 million elixir into like the rest of the upgrades I need. Love that. Yeah, I'd like you know I'd like to do that too. That'd be nice. Oh no. Fuck. I have to wait. The upgrade timer for the uh, dragons was six days. Good lord. Yeah, I just used like a bunch of like the research potions and fucking cut it down to one day. But uh. Research hog rider. <coughs> Improve him. <laughs> no, bro, the hog rider's kind of below. You need more of them. <laughs> I had some guy try to attack me earlier today, just doing like full hog rider rush. They all got all to the center riders. where I have, yes, all hog riders, uh, a couple wizards, and the fucking barbarian king. And Doesn't work. All of the hog riders reached the center of my fucking village where I have a giant bomb, and they all <laughs> died. <laughs> I was waiting to hear. I was waiting to hear the giant bomb. <laughs> yeah, they all they died. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they, they're very weak to uh, traps and bombs and shit. They're very weak to just kind of everything. I mean, they have speed and the whole, like, jumping over walls thing, but... Yeah, they, they do. They don't have much. They got Hog. Hog Rider! This guy's gonna like die before you actually tend the person with zero medicine. <laughs> I don't care. Son of a bitch. Head, but maybe get better. Ooh, permits. Permits, that's what they're called. Food and drop. I actually have too much. <laughs> I wish I could relate on the ice sheet colony. I so only how do have you? As much as my fucking hydroponics will churn out. So how do you get mods in that game? Do you have to, like, They're on the Steam Workshop, and it's extremely easy. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. 
just hit you know, guess and they and they go. Is Steam Workshop you know like a thing you, you have uh... to download? No, 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 it's on Steam. Oh, I've never seen the Steam Workshop before. Yeah, Every game you... has one. Well, most games have one. Yeah. All you really need to make sure you do is just sort by, like, the current version of the game. And then I'll right. show you all mods that are compatible with it, and you're good. And Except... most mods are also backwards compatible. Yeah. People are crazy with it. Yeah, hey, game, I was surprised to learn how much of an active mod that game has. I mean, what else do you do with it? It's yeah, probably I mean... really easy to make mods at this point. Yeah, and especially if you're going to be making, like, uh... Like, especially when it comes to the visual aspect of it, because, I mean, remote has got a very simplistic art style. I can, I can draw stuff for this game. I, I probably could too, I could use it, I could probably make stuff for that game by putting shapes down in paint. I did make a hairstyle for this game. Oh. Um, just because one of the mods I had had a, a hairstyle that was two of the same, oh. and I was like, well that's annoying. So I went in and I replaced the files with my own the problem is that later on, when that mod updated, it overwrote my changes. Oh, yeah, right. So I was like, ah, I'm not fixing it. That's <laughs> still kind of cool, though. I think I might try to play through the game with, like, no mods first. See what it's all about. It. Really? <laughs> it's not- Vanilla RimWorld is, like, an okay game. Damn. I did my first colony on modded. I- yeah, I did too, but, it, like... There's a lot of stuff in this game that just isn't good. <laughs> needs to be fixed. I didn't realize true, James true. left. Yeah. He said bye and left. Damn. I'm probably gonna summon by his fucking clan and dust. Oh. No, it's not true. <laughs> Get sucked in to do herbal Destiny Raid for the 30th that. time. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's weird. What is your policy for beggars, Matt? Because I, if I have it, I give it to them, unless it's something absurd. For beggars? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, do you ignore them, or do you just give them what they want? No, what do you mean, you beggar? The beggar quest. They'll uh, show up, and they'll demand goods, and they won't leave until they get them. I can't say I've had that happen. What? Yeah. They're vanilla, I think. I, I, I don't know what encounter you're talking about. Really? Yeah, I'm, yes. A group of poor travelers is approaching, looking for help. They're begging for 24 herbal medicine. Yeah, no. And flavor text on why they need it. I think you get rugs. <laughs> I yeah, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've seen people on the RimWorld subreddit talk about these. So I'm pretty sure they're vanilla. You must have just not gotten any. And that's not. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess I am just unlucky. More like you are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <sighs> I maybe. <laughs> Got him. Got him. What did he say? No re. GG no re. G -G what, 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 what's with the, even the whole respawn part? Like, GG no respawn, GG no re. Like, what's with the re part? Is it. They, no re they won't play them again. You don't play G -G them again? No re -match. Oh. I thought it was no respawn. No respawn. <laughs> I don't know. You'll never yeah, respawn. I <laughs> <laughs> I've killed you in real life. GG, don't respawn. Sit tight along my way to your home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure you can't rematch me ever again. My goodness. You're gonna whoop for a miracle. I'm gonna whoop for a miracle if I ever see you again. I mean, you know it's a mod I use every time. Hey doesn't need pooling. What? It's called Hey doesn't need pooling, and all it does oh. is make it so you don't have to put hay in the freezer. I use, um,. I actually can't remember what the fuck the mod's called, but it gets rid of, like, refueling costs for things like torches and shit. Oh, really? Yeah. I've seen that mod, but that's, like, mega cheating. <laughs> I kinda don't care, because I don't use these things very often anyway. 
Yeah, I guess if it's not like the wood fire generator, it's fine. Yeah. Because I, I basically, as soon as I get power, torches cease to exist. Yeah, exactly. I don't think you can stack stamina regen buffs, can you? You can. Can if you? If you use like, uh, like the stamina regen talisman, the pickle turtleneck, the shield that gives stamina regen, those all stack. Pickle turtleneck, sure. what is that? Is that, that's a consumable, it's right? It's a consumable, yeah. Fuck consumables. Pretty sure those all stack, yeah. Okay. Well, Alright, well, uh, I guess that's what I'm going to do then. I already got the shield. I think the threats that spawn in Ancient Danger is scale based on wealth. So if you pop them up in early, they're easy. John, how is, is your it... uh, Elden Ring session going? That's what going? I've noticed. I'm not sure if it's true. Oh, no, right. I don't know. I kind of always wait to <laughs> game to crack. I'm no. Dante. Usually I just beeline for them right at the start with a bunch of guys at clubs. And it's like <laughs> one scyther is in there and he's like, uh-oh. Yeah, no, see, I, beating the death of club. I always have the worst luck with that shit. I'll crack it open and it's like a fucking centipede with an inferno cannon. And, and it's like, <laughs> oh, well, you know, fuck me and my, like, naked brutality loser with a fucking, like, charge rifle. I also tend to this there's a strat you could do where if you put a forbidden door in front of the tile you break, you can open it without letting them out or aggroing them. Like, they wake up, but they don't escape. Oh. And then you can just, like, wait and, like, you know, see what happens with it. <laughs> Shit, I didn't know about that. I might have to try Here, that. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. I just did it. You build a You build one wall, and you forbid a door, and then you have them deconstruct the block behind the door. I hate seeing oh, a bunch okay. of turtles and seeing the notes by the turtles and That's knowing it. exactly what those notes say. It's pretty simple. And then also the door is already forbidden so they won't go in there. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely try that out next colony. Stop Sick. starving. Go eat. <laughs> go eat something, idiot. Back. Fuck. Let me go kill good dick. What? Good dick. Godric. What did you just say to me, you motherfucker? <laughs> you just say to me, you little shit. I'll have you know. I'll have you know I have over 300 confirmed kills. Was it three? I thought it was three thousand. No, I think it was three hundred. I don't know. I feel like I killed three thousand people. <laughs> oh, have you? Uh, oh, have you? No, I have oh, killed dang. thousands of people. I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of people, man. <laughs> that is a lot of people. Right if you just like live, you bend with Micah. Are you sure? <laughs> and then you vented an entire neighborhoods worth of people, entire town. Wait, why are you wandering? What are the, what are the questions for jury duty oh was, God. would you have a problem with uh, a defendant, a defendant that is not, that chooses to not uh, say anything and to not present any evidence to provide that they are, like, not guilty? <laughs> and it was like, yes or no. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> of course I would. Well, the, that's asking, I think, if you would have a problem if, like, a defendant decides to exit. Right I understand quiet. that, but bitch, you're on trial. You're on trial, buddy. Well, that, Mike, is a fallacy. <laughs> Just because someone chooses to stay silent doesn't mean they're guilty. Listen, buddy, you're on trial, okay? If you uh, think that... Like... Uh. <laughs> Only if I was their lawyer, I would be mad. Like, I'd be like, give me something to work with. And they just sit there yeah. with their arms crossed. Alright, right. <laughs> well, if you're not saying anything, that's one thing. But if you're not going to provide any evidence... To provide, like, uh... Guess you just lose, cause, Yeah, like, fuck the, you. The, the opponents probably have some evidence. Like, you want me to be okay with that? Fuck that. Fuck them, for that. I'll kill again. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'll do it again. Know. I'll kill again, just watch me. Jesus you better Christ. not let me go, I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I will be a repeat I'm offender. And dangerous individual, likely to <laughs> kill again. <laughs> It'll probably I be on the sidewalk you. outside of this courthouse. It might be one of your loved ones. One of your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be <laughs> anybody. It might be you. You, juror number five? Yeah. <laughs> I followed you home the other day. <laughs> I know where you live. I know where you live now. I'm not ready could for this you. fight. He could be me. He could even be. I'm not even the murderer. The real murderer is at the juror's house right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a distraction. I paid someone to do it. <laughs> there is a That's pipe the bomb in my going on. suitcase. It doesn't have enough yield to hurt anyone else, but if the old man, do you want to see this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't That's believe actually it. actually held in contempt to... for it. You want a piece of me? Everybody gets a piece of me. <laughs> Shut up, Patches. Let me buy your shit. Oh yeah, an actual Imperial trade. 70 damage. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, so this colony I'm working with right now, the quirk of this colony is that they're royals, and they hate everybody. They hate doing, um... They hate everybody else, but they also hate doing dumb labor. Ooh. So I had to... I realized that midway through the run, I was like... I wasn't going to use any slavery this run, but all these guys get pissed off every time they lift a finger. <laughs> well, I guess I am now forced into this playstyle because of bad choices in the ideology. I, uh, the ideology I have right now in my colony is like supremacist and like a focus <laughs> on, um, like non individuality, but like a focus on the whole of the colony. There's and, a. Uh, the gimmick that I've done is I've been using the mod Questionable Ethics Enhanced, which has cloning tubes, and I've just oh, been yeah. cloning my starting colonist. From the start. <laughs> I have a colony of like six of the same dude. There's a. There's... I just assign them all roles. One is the <laughs> farmer. One is the the blue collar <laughs> worker. <laughs> You're the farmer. The farmer like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, blue collar Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's that's Rick and Morty bit. Literally, how it goes, it's you know, fucking sixteen days or whatever the hell it takes pass, and the new clone gets yoinked out of the vat, gets thrown in some armor, and is told, "All right, you're gonna be crafting advanced components till the day you die. Have fun." <laughs> I know. There's DLCs component, for this game. Component Matt get to work. <laughs> yeah. There's DLCs for this game. Oh no. Yeah. They're very worth it. They are. <laughs> Body parts. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll buy it. Why not? Body part. I'll buy RimWorld. See what it's all about. Oh, uh, that, that's another mod I have that I, I don't think that is. Call any mood debuffs from like harvesting prisoner organs. Oh, you could just well now that the like ideology. Yeah, now that ideology is out, that. that's pointless. But uh, I have had that I... installed since I think before even fucking royalty came out. Me too, but I don't run it anymore. Yeah, actually, I didn't think about how that's even though I specifically did pick for the ideology trait that they don't get upset over that. So I guess a little redundant, but whatever. One of the things that the uh, Vanilla Ideology Expanded mod does is you were saying you wanted, like, uniformity. There's yeah. a, There are, are traits for that in that mod. There's even, like, one for anonymity. Like, they all want to be anonymous. They don't uh -huh. want to know each other. You can make them wear masks. Oh, and, like, shit. um... There's, like, a new need. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cool. What the fuck? Let me look at the Ideology menu and tell you exactly what it is. So it's, like... Dev edit mode. Um, let's see. There's a lot of cool stuff in ideology enhanced. Where is it? So there's anonymity, which basically makes they want all of them to be like social interactions disallowed. 
<laughs> and immunity required, visage masks wrong. There's insect supremacy, like they worship the insects, mechanoid supremacy, which also works with the the mech in, the mech advanced one too. Yeah. I've been saving for a playthrough with that, but I haven't done it yet. Okay. There's flesh crafting, which is just like mess around with flesh. Like they they can't you can make body parts with like meat. Oh. Instead of bi instead of like bionics. Yeah. How do I how do I get to the Steam Workshop? Um, oh. It's a Steam Community Workshop. Oh. So you go up to, in your Steam tab to the top. Um, where is it? There's Nomad, which means you don't build a base. You just keep walking around the map. Oh. It's the exact opposite of Nomad, called City Builders, where they get upset if they leave. Um, violent Conversion. Basically, join or die. They put them on the altar, and it's a 50-50. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of like that one, too. That one's fun. I would definitely um, go with my very isol isolationist clone colony. Bushido, which is like samurai culture. Defeat is dishonorable. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that one video. Ceremonial suicide. Yeah. Um, so that, that, was, that was another thing I have the ideal legion for that clone colony is basically everyone who is different they just fucking abhor <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> where is it they have they have new ones they have egalitarian which is like they they hate slavery and racism there's oh, nationalist that fly in the clone colony that won't fly at all <laughs> nationalist is um diversity of thought high bigotry <laughs> <laughs> and execution required Oh yeah, I have the execution required on too. We, we very regularly execute prisoners. There's a new one called Emancipation, also anti-slavery. You uh, you, they only want to free slaves. You can't buy them. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, and this is the one I think you'd like. Gestalt. There shouldn't be any individuality. Oh, There's, okay. It's, the entire colony has a shared mood. They're like a hive. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, that is pretty... And that's what it adds. That's all it does. Yeah, Doesn't I like matter. that. So if, like, one, one fucker is really mad about something, you can bring the whole place down. Hive mind clone colony. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> hive mind clone... I highly recommend this mod. Yeah, I definitely need to grab that now. Because I've seen it on the workshop, but I was like, nah. I've only done, yeah. like... Two colonies with Ideal Legion. I want to get more of a feel of like base game, but I think I, I think I have a good enough grasp on it. Yeah, I'm looking at the art Start for this game now. More. The art does not. It looks kind of gross. Yeah, there's a bunch of mods to change it. Okay. But a I lot of them are homogenous of each other, so I like to go with stuff that just makes vanilla look better, like higher res. Yeah. Sure. I also like the alien races. Yeah. They're just something I've, fun to look at. I have a couple extra alien race mods. Like Forsakens. I like the buns. They're really funny. I think I have that one. They're just like... They're just literally humans with bunny ears, and they're faster. Oh! But they, they're slower at doing things, but they run fast, so it usually comes out even. <laughs> I also tried doing a playthrough with the um, uh, Alien vs Predator mod because I saw it and I was like, oh, that could Never be kind of interesting. It, the, the Predators have this like really annoying mechanic where if you have one in your colony, you can do this like ritual every time one of your colonists kill like a strong foe where it like marks them in some way. And it actively stops you from like butchering that animal or enemy until you do that ritual, and it's really fucking annoying. You must ritualize this thing's yeah, death. You must do this now. The fucking stupid alien in your colony demands it. And, I then, the, must. and then the xenomorphs, they were kind of 
broken because they have like the whole cloaking thing that they can do in the movies where they just actually go invisible in the game. <laughs> and there's the face huggers that they were too big of a problem, but there's like queen ones that can make queen xenomorphs and I don't know if they were just really strong or broken at the time that I used the mod, but I literally just couldn't kill them. Like Oops. the queens. I, I, think, I think they just had some kind of like fucked up armor value or something, because even using weapons that were like pretty overpowered from another mod, I just couldn't kill one of the xenomorph queens and it just kind of walked through my colony and murdered everybody. And I was damn. like, well, this is... This doesn't feel very fair. I'm. I've been this is an uninstalled mod moment. Yeah. Like fucking launching nukes at this fucking thing, and it's just like, nah, I don't want it. I don't want to die. <laughs> I think I'll. I think I'll destroy the colony you've put forty hours into already. Sorry. You won't die. <laughs> How do you feel about chem fuel generator? I never used these. Um, I've used them. I I only ever build them if I get that one building that infinitely produces chem fuel because yes, I just end exactly up with that. too much chem fuel. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I've ever built one, and it only and I've only ever gotten that building like twice. Quest. Yeah. The, the only other time I've built them was when. Before a colony, I just had like a massive herd of boomalopes in- I've tried to do that, but every time I've tried that, something bad has happened to the boomalopes. And the yeah. up and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> the entire, I, I, was, the entire bed. I was using them as attack animals before that was patched out, and I was just kind of like sicking them on raiders and just launching a mortar in and blowing them up. But That's so much more fun. You could still do is. that, though. You could still load them in the pods and then yeah, launch them yeah. people. <laughs> but th that's why I had a whole mass of them, and I realized that, yeah, like, 15 boom loops produce a fuck ton of chem fuel. Fine as we'll build some generators. I don't know what the fucking point of boom rats is. If they can't make chem fuel, it's a nuisance, I guess. Get them I guess out of here. Can also be something that you can throw at people to explode. I don't know. But they don't even train. You can't. They don't have any training value anymore. They're worthless. Right. They're just like, lol. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get mad because psychic people, and then I'm gonna not <laughs> burn that house. <laughs> That's one thing I've been happy I haven't had to deal with with the fucking ice sheet colony. There's nothing to burn. Fires are just not a problem. <laughs> Rimworld fires are like like alpha Minecraft fires where they just never stop and they spread to every block. Yep. <laughs> God forbid you get like a flash storm. Now everything is just up in flames. I'm in a this this colony is in a jungle and there was a flash storm earlier. It literally wiped out every tree on the map. I was also using a little mechanoid outpost like shoot things that I didn't want to deal with. Like, I just left the turrets there. Yeah. The, that was working, but eventually, a, mo a monkey went, like, Manhunter and walked over and single-handedly killed all of the turrets. <laughs> it was, like, one big turret and two little ones. And this Manhunter monkey managed to get through the fire and, like, got to the big turret, scratched it to death, and the big turret exploded the little turrets. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, God damn, I guess that wouldn't have worked against people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a bunch of my turrets earlier today get swarmed and destroyed because I took on a quest that sent in, it was like 26 manhunting llamas or some shit. And they all just like swarmed around my little turret box and destroyed them. <laughs> I really the thought turrets that- turrets are like objectively useless now after every nerf they've given them. Yeah. They're, all they're good for is drawing aggro and blowing up. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, food keeps blowing up. <laughs> Questic oh fires in three hours? What is this? Imprison somebody for honor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd do that. 
22 days? Yeah, whatever. Love seeing my 18k karma. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with you? I it's super weird to me that like the prisoners they have you hold are always like dying of some illness. <laughs> they can't just be normal people that are like trying to escape. They've always got like blood rot. Yeah, I I think that's on purpose. Yeah, like to make them more of a resource hole. Yeah. Or like they all sometimes they just have like the paralysis disease. Yeah. They just don't do anything for a month. And then they leave. <laughs> Paralytic evasion, yeah. Yeah, and you're like, okay. I guess. <laughs> I got one of those earlier. It was, watch five prisoners that have it, and in return I'll give you this fucking Persona Mono Sword and some, like, Glitter World medicine. I was like, yeah, I can watch five basically dead people for 18 days, sure. Or worse yet, when it's an animal. Yeah. I remember one save I had a well, I don't remember what exact animal it was, but it was just like sleeping in my rock like where I was having them put the chunks of rock. It was mm -hmm. sleeping in there because I just stuck the stock there the, the 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 sleeping spot there earlier in the run and forgot about it. And I completely <laughs> forgot I accepted that quest for like actually however long it took until it was ready to be done. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, there was a fucking paralyzed llama lying in the rocks. <laughs> a lion. Just feeding it. <laughs> lion amongst the mounds of rocks. <laughs> okay, I'm trying Rimworld. Okay. The the learning curve is very steep. You, yeah. Your first run will, will not succeed. I don't think I succeeded till like my first five runs. <laughs> yeah, my first runs, my first ever run starved to death. Yeah. My second run, I've never lost to raiders actually. I don't. Uh, I might have. I lost to modded don't... faction raiders, but not yeah, never yeah, in that's... the base game. But never in the base game have I just been like actually all of them have died. Raiders yeah. have dealt the killing blow. But I've never had because they just take shit and leave. No, no, I have lost to raiders once. I I had this mod installed that like tweaked enemy values to be like more more forgiving or more merciless depending on like your wealth. And I, mm. I fucked up the settings like really bad one time. <laughs> and I had a raid of like a hundred and twenty tribals. And they, like, it was literally just like a strength in numbers. It didn't matter how many we gunned down. Every one, there was two more. <laughs> <laughs> and they just, they walked through that fucking colony with spears and bows and killed everyone decked out in, like, fucking cataphract armor. Like, it was so bad. What's a, uh, a temperate forest? That's a, a good place to start. A temperate wanna... forest would be, like, what we live in. Like, yeah, in that's, like... Life. That's like Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with like a summer, a spring, a fall, a winter. Okay. You should push the more info button. Or like it says terrain. And that'll give you more details. This person has sealed themselves in because apparently I don't have smarter construction on this day. Wonderful. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, a, that's another like have to have mod. Uh, oh, I, selected I was like, why is this person stressed? Oh yeah, they sealed themselves into the wall, cast of Mazzolato style. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had somebody starved to death once because of that. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the sound that it makes when a character dies. <laughs> <laughs> you scramble around to where and here's this dumbass sealed himself into the wall. The fucking hospital while building it. I don't understand. The same police select site and. What? What? It's not working, oh. bro. Fucking <laughs> no, please, not the grab attack. You know attack. that the, um, the prisoner uh, quests don't usually care if you steal stuff from the prisoner's body? Yeah. You can give them a, a organless husk. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, thanks for, thanks for snoring. Yeah, thanks for watching over. His fucking eyes are gone, his ears are gone, he's missing a lung, a kidney. 
Four, four peg limbs. <laughs> yeah. Don't get Joss broken. Yeah, thanks for keeping him safe. Thanks for holding on to this guy. <laughs> He's got a fucking squeeze bot over placing his heart. This is ancient. <laughs> well, this character looks like Quayle. Squeeze like... bottle and just yeah. ran <laughs> <laughs> Aw, he looks like Quaylen. Is he big and fat? Oh. Is he big and fat? He's like the fat pawn. Here, I'll stream real quick because it's the rare fat pawn type. I don't know if it'll work. It doesn't usually work for me. Oh, that miss. Do you see? It's probably because this laptop just runs out of memory. Do you see? Let me see. There's Quaylen's little haircut. There's a guy at my jaw that looks like that's like yeah. basically Quaylen. Uh, but he's like six foot three. Oh. Six foot three Quaylen. <laughs> yeah. That's intimidating. You see? Looks like. I saw a guy on my way home today who looked like John, like you were John. But like 150 pounds heavier, Jesus. like same face and everything, just just bigger. <laughs> Jesus. Did you guys see Quaylen? I was in a yeah, bus. Yeah, on. Oh wait, that's Mike's screenshot. Uh, watch stream. In the in in his stream. Yeah. We should rename him to Quaylen and then start with the run of I don't know how. Or at the top. I tried clicking it, it says, can I, can I oh, okay. Oh. Then it, the little leg line to indicate that I can type in there didn't pop up. Uh, Quaylen. Oh shit, it's not how you spell it. You need to change that middle one because the middle one is the only name that matters because oh. that's the nickname that it'll display in game. Okay. Blah. Back. Yeah, the middle one, the the left one is like their first name, right one is their last name, and then the middle one is their their nickname that they go by. And oh. so most pawns will be like they'll go by their last name or their first name, but some pawns have like unique middle names. Okay. Yeah. Like maybe Michael Cinebaldi would be Mike in the middle. Dude, how the fuck do you spell Quaylen? U U A L I N I L I N Yeah. I L I And I knew there was two N's in it or two I's and I just couldn't figure out how. <laughs> okay. Did you see Matt? It looks like Quaylen. Oh, yeah, I saw. It has a little haircut. Yeah, it does. Do you better hope he doesn't fucking die horribly. Oh, you're Can gonna I... starve Quaylen to death. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I snipping tool this? Fuck. Oh. oh. I wanna make I wanna make a Quaylen emote. <laughs> <laughs> hey Matt, can you make Quaylen emote? Sure. Ah uh, sure. Find Quaylen in that stretched mess. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, this shit. is harder than I thought it'd be. Oh, there you go, there's a well there's, there's, there's my little monitors. You got the shit TV, power the hole. first monitor, and then the expensive TV monitor. This year colony needs more power. I, I am constantly fighting to get more power with the ice sheet one. It's fucking... Every, all so of my good. food comes from <laughs> hydroponics, so I have like a massive hydroponics area with like fucking nine sun lamps that turn on during the day. My problem with like that sort of build is that it always ends up being like, okay, well I need more power to power more hydroponics, and then I need more yada yada, and like that just drives your wealth way up. Yeah. Your opponent need way up. Every time something breaks down and gets fucked. Oh boy. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay. 
You want to allow all their food, otherwise they won't eat it. You want to who now? They're what now? <laughs> food forbidden, can't touch. Allow it. Oh. Yeah. Survival. If you double tap on an item, it'll select all of that type. Oh, nice. Oh, F. Allow. Click to allow. Is it allowed? I can't tell. Bruh. If there's a red X on it, it's not allowed. Uh, all right. Well, the red X is there. Clicking allow, but there's also a red X on allow. Uh, <sighs> it's a toggle. Yeah, I'm trying to toggle it. It's mm. not working. This, uh, this, this forced weather quest is not worth it. <laughs> what will it do to the weather? It'll just, it'll force the weather. It doesn't tell me what kind of weather, though. It should say in, like, the description of the quest somewhere. A vengeful, ma a vengeful machine persona is threatening the tribe's people of Renu Kinship. Exochrome Chief Purple Chim Van Z wants you to send a message to his persona, accepting responsibility for their transgression. If you do so, the persona will turn its anger on you. A weather control system will force the weather around Colony Name to be fog for 15 days. Fog. Oh, fog. oh no. Oh no, fog. I guess I'll take the free gold. Side trainers or free gold? What the or hell is this 17 shit? goodwill. I don't care about this tribe. Masterwork great bow, though. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I don't know. And <laughs> what's a Masterwork's great bow's DPS? 21. I was going to say 23. That's even less than you thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best possible version of a bow, and it still sucks. I don't know. It can be legendary. Oh, you're right. That's probably 23. That might be. That might be. <laughs> I, I, yeah, you can have the gold. Oh. Uh, this colony currently has no gold. Gold is necessary, so I'll take the gold. No gold. No gold. Oh, they're not down paying me. I have to wait. No, what is this called? Multi analyzer. <laughs> okay, now I can allow. Good. <laughs> Guns. I'm gonna. There's so much shit on the screen. I don't know what's happening. Should yeah, just let the learning helper guide you for a while, and then <laughs> also you'll still be confused anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's very much so a game you kind of gotta just feel out. Just kind of. I keep hearing what... hit buttons, and I'm like, what am I doing? You definitely just learn through failing, like, your first fucking couple of colonies, and then you start figuring out what your direction should be when you start the new Which colony. is just like the real world, where if I was dropped in the middle of nowhere, I would die of a Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. if, I, if I were to go on to that show, Naked and Afraid, I'd end up dead in two days. <laughs> <laughs> I find that hilarious. The, the, the fucking cameraman's gonna be tapping me out because I ate some tasty looking berries I saw growing on a bush and started having a seizure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but nobody in the tribe would ever eat those berries again, so... It, yeah. You know, yeah my, my, my knowledge will help the future generations. <laughs> my experiences, I mean. Don't eat those tribe. Ancient not die. <laughs> don't, don't eat the berry. Don't eat the berry. They have demons. Barry. Yeah. <laughs> they demon bed. Silver red. What the hell? This game's cute. I like it. Fuck. It gets less cute. <laughs> yeah, it gets less cute when when your colonist decides to go on like a sadistic murder and kill the other person with you. That's interesting though. I like that. Yeah. Oh, it's a, so like on the main menu. You probably saw the pop. Is a story generator. 
Yeah. Oh. The creator of this game has the gall to say it's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, the game is. The well, yeah, you know, you listed it on Steam, so that's where you really fucked up. <laughs> Not a game, my ass. Fuck it's off. It's not under the software section of Steam either. <laughs> Suspicious. <laughs> Did you see that uh, AI dungeon had a release? Yeah, it's twenty three dollars or something. Yeah. Oh and for what no I ads. saw, looking, th I is it no ads? Because I was looking through the reviews on it, and there were people saying that it is the exact same version as the web version, and that there is still that ads. That would be extremely upsetting if they just straight up lied. <laughs> That's what they say on, on my app version. It's like, get the Steam version for no ads, one-time payment. Okay. I'd be very upset. <laughs> I don't know, there was a desktop version, to be honest. I did not know a slave could marry a prisoner. Yeah, yeah that happens. You cannot put them in a double bed together. Because you still need to have a slave assigned to bed for them. This guy used to be a slave, but then he, like, assaulted the leader of the colony. And so <laughs> he had to be beaten and then thrown in prison. And I was going to put him on trial, but I guess I'll let him out. <laughs> I'm going to make I'm gonna make a, a colony with everybody I know, and I'm going to kill them all. No, no, no. I'm going to kill you. If you get the sadistic mods, you can even just, like, remove their brains and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I... Bottomize them. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I have the war crimes mod. Yeah, I do, too. <laughs> I, I lobotomized a few people. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? They walk around at, like, half the ability they would normally have. And they yeah, don't talk they... anymore, and they just they just do yeah, whatever task you tell them to. They have, like, insane happiness. They're never upset. That's unfortunate. They're like, uh... It's too <laughs> stupid uh... to be sad. So I, I saw the lobotomized thing, and I at first was... Funny, like, Fallout lobotomite. I wanna do that. Oh. And then I did it to somebody, and I was like, oh, god, they... Their manipulation and movement are like gone. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like, want this guy on the fucking battlefield. It's only for like the worst of the worst pawns that weren't that were like huge risks otherwise. Yeah. I don't even know what the use case is to be honest. To like. Uh, I think it's just I guess a psychic harmonizer. Yeah, yeah. Which I do have psychic harmonizer installed in that lobotomized person because. The only thing they're kind of good for at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna quail on the weapon. Shit. Oh good. Oh no. I hate it when the quest becomes available. The Arco Nexus. Yeah. I. What is that? I. It's, I don't. It's an alternative ending where you oh. basically get three colonies to thirty-five thousand wealth, or three hundred fifty thousand wealth. Oh. That's that's. That's all that's you have to much. do. That's too much. It's basically what resets you that you the in lore reason is like you sell the column and then you start over. Oh but like only three people get to leave. That's nah, I'll pass. Yeah, I've, I've never, I've never even it. I've never even done a save with more than two colonies. Most of my saves I don't do more than one colony. Oh no, you lose it. Like you lose complete access to it. Oh. And all the resources there. I guess you could scam them and like have a caravan them like set you up for it yeah there might be some way to cheat that but i don't think i'll bother with even trying it quailin's got the blicky quailin's a logger <laughs> quailin got the clock with the oh game. yeah okay i got a so, clock at my rari pro tip <laughs> if you put your stockpile inside all the things won't deteriorate in the dust oh yeah. nice there's like currently yep. trees inside my house <laughs> They'll cut them down once they have enough structure to build a roof. So how do I move them then? Uh... So you build it, you put a, you go into like, what is it, tab? The orders tab? I'm sorry, the zone tab? You go stockpile zone. Zone. Oh, that's, that's architect, right? Yeah. Okay. The zones are really important. Yeah, that's like stockpile zones, farming zones. All right, hold on. So you... Oh, why is Lexi sleeping outside? Bro? Oh, there's only there's what? 
Oh, I guess they don't have enough for a, for three beds. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> guess you're sleeping in the dirt. The pregnant lady's sleeping outside, bro. It's funny. Pregnant? Uh -oh. Yeah, she looks pregnant. Nah, it's just nah that's just what females look like. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. I'm liking this game. It's, it's neat. Uh, it's cute. It's very fun. I like watching them do things. <laughs> but not actually doing them myself, but actually doing it myself. This is definitely the watch people do things simulator. Like, no, like honestly, I, I think I would love like having like a little like stream up. Like I, I like yeah. watching like Hob call people cunts on a <laughs> stream and, and then like do this on the side. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank yeah, you Rimworld for... Rimworld is one of my top games that I listen to YouTube while playing. Well, thank you for yeah. hashtag, uh, hashtag adding for like the past hour <laughs> about this game. Well, it's just so much fun to talk about because so much funny shit happens. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not letting me do anything by myself. They're just the little tutorial guys just uh, gatekeeping everything I do. As soon as I was done with the tutorial, I was like, yeah, fuck you. And I, I built it. I've started over. So <laughs> technically, my first ever colony was deleted. Damn. I think my first colony, I settled in next to an ancient danger, not fully understanding what that was, of course. Yeah. And tried cracking it open probably like a couple weeks into the colony got fucking annihilated by like a lancer and a centipede man in black shows up he gets shit on immediately too and then the colony loses <laughs> was that man all, in black that... has never done anything for anybody is yeah. that all base <laughs> game this is on the map that threatened the colony is yeah all, is all that stuff base game yeah yeah that's all vanilla jeez so like if your colony is completely failing, every one of your con your pawns is down or dead, there's a chance that a guy called the Man in Black will appear, a randomly generated dude. He comes in with like a black duster and a cowboy hat and <laughs> armor, and he's got a revolver. Yeah. And like, in theory, he could come in and save the entire colony. <laughs> what the he fuck? He instantly becomes a pawn. But usually, what happens is he runs into like the fray. And the 400 tribals that are currently eating your colony, <laughs> <laughs> he gets like boarded by a spear, and it's over. <laughs> like, yeah, <God. laughs> I could see him maybe helping like early game when your threats aren't super crazy. But when you're like late game and your colony is worth like a million silver, and you're being invaded by guys with like fucking laser guns and handheld nuke launchers. The dude, the dude with a fucking trench coat and a revolver isn't gonna help much. He is super cool looking, especially when before you couldn't like dye clothes, so he was the only way to get like black clothing. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I don't know why it took so long to let the player do that. I don't. Yeah, I don't know either. Why the fuck is Quaylen logging? Quaylen's Quaylen's planting at like fucking three. Well, so you can click on the work tab. And then click manual work priorities because that's necessary. Oh, and then you can set his you can set his plant cut to like four, so he won't do it very much. Oh, wait a sec. L four. Wait, I don't understand. Four so is the lowest priority. One is highest priority. That's... One, they'll prioritize doing it as often as possible, and if it's at a four, it's like on the last of their list. I can only check mark and check mark. I don't understand how to set oh, there's a, a number. Oh, there's a box at the top of that window that says manual priorities or something oh, like that. Oh, it's x over. Check four. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know okay. why you'd ever not use manual priorities. I don't know why they even have that as an option. Yeah, it's, it's basically just micromanagement of what jobs they do and how often they'll do them. That might be even a challenge run. Win a run without manual priorities. I, I never used manual priorities till probably about my like seventh or eighth colony. You're you know, serious? Ex excluding like the first five that I fucking lost. But yeah, my my whole first colony I didn't use manual priorities on. The first thing I did was start micromanaging when I couldn't <laughs> figure out how to make them do what I wanted them to do. <laughs> what the hell? We've 
for the stove to be built. Do they have to wake up or some shit? I think they do. I don't, I don't know how to deal with this pikeman and lancer combination that they've got sitting in the ancient bandry. <laughs> Come in multiple sides. Probably right. I think I'm just gonna funnel all my combat bonds through the door. Okay. <laughs> or I could just lure them into the snipers. The thing is, they outrank it. I like a lot. Yeah, right. A pikeman does have like stupid range. And lancer. I have molotovs. Maybe I'll just throw a molotov in there and be done with it. <laughs> throw a molotov in. Build the wall back and call it there. I don't understand. Build Let the, the people in the cryo sleep caskets, who you know are gonna crawl out as soon as any damage grab them. <laughs> Help. Oh fuck, dogs! Stop. I'm hoping these cryo sleep caskets are worth it. My colony is in desperate need of intelligent people. My researcher is. Stupid. They're nearly 20, but they might they don't like their job. <laughs> He's good at it, but he hates it. They're not building I would a stove that I need like to be an built. Pad. Fucking hell. I know that would make the game harder, but there should be like an anti patchment where the pond isn't incapable of it, but they don't like doing it. Yeah. Honestly, I, I think that'd be kind of that would have been a good addition with ideology. Yeah. How much they kind of changed with pawn, like, attitudes. By the way, what are you doing? Your plant's five? Yeah, you can keep going, man. So, <laughs> I, I don't understand how to make them, how to make them build this stove that I need to be built. So they, part, they might not have anybody who's capable of building it. Oh. It says, steel. I can't even read that. You don't have enough. I don't have enough to build it. Hey, is that Probably. an 80 out of 80? I can't read it. Uh, how much? Oh. Wait for my steel? So it's, you click on it again? That that corner, it says fueled stove building. Required resources. Does it say 80 out of 80? Yeah. Then I guess what it has. So click on your pawn who is set to construction. My pawn. Uh, I don't understand. Little person. Like, if you go on the work tab, you can see who's set to what. Yeah. Oh, construction. Okay, so Lexi. Oh, so she's building the roof right now. Yeah, so she doesn't have time for that. Oh, if you okay. click on her, you can have her manually prioritize it by then clicking, right click at the scope. Oh, interesting, okay. And if you hold shift and click, you can set a queue. Oh. Like, you could have them do, like, several tasks in a row. Well, I'm assuming that she'll probably go back to doing the stove when she's done with this. Well, she'll go back to doing the roof when she's done with Because I don't, I don't know how to click on the roof from here. You will. So the roof, if you right-click an empty roof area, it'll just say prioritize. Okay. So I'll shift... Click shift. You don't have. Right, but uh, roof. I don't know. I don't see any. Ugh. Mm. I don't know. Can I make her? It could be because go into your architect tab. There's some things I can't do oh, because I'm waiting for this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's annoying. That's why I'm trying to continue on with this because I'm just sitting here watching them do shit. Okay, well thank you, I appreciate it. I'd like to move all this shit inside, but I can't. Have you forced one of them to go really high on hauling and prioritize? Although you can't move that stockpile. Yeah, no, I need to move this. I need to put a new stock, stock like a zone in here. Mm. And I can't do that because of all this dumb shit. But it's fine, That's I okay. guess. Doomed to fail. See, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm understanding. I'm learning. This is cool. I wish the tutorial didn't make you build a steel. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Because um, building like a steel building in RimWorld is almost never good. Why? Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll, I'll run it. Steel is flammable for some reason. It's <sighs> as flammable as wood is. Makes sense. Well, all the other building materials aren't. It's only steel and wood that are flammable. So automatically the stone blocks are better. But then also, steel is a limited resource. Or mostly limited. You can get things to drill for it later, but it's expensive. You basically don't want to waste steel on wall. Okay. Interesting. Because everything requires steel. If you can help it, don't build with steel beds either, because they have like a penalty on how fast they sleep with them. So there's a lot of depth to this game. Yeah. Beds basically only ever make wood ones. I don't know why they did this, but any other material for beds, they people like get less rest from them. Okay. Uranium beds. <laughs> okay, well, uh... In my current colony, in my little, like, rec room area, I have a uranium horseshoe pin. Just because I thought it'd be <laughs> funny to just have, like, a fucking uranium rod sticking out of the middle of the ground that everyone throws horseshoes at. <laughs> I usually do that with, like, something. Like, I'll use, like, jade right at the start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> We're on the world's most expensive horseshoe pen. Made out of fucking gold. <laughs> gold horseshoe pen. Bent. <laughs> it's like bent out of shape. I'm getting hit. <laughs> Mine. Oh, that, that's what I do. I use silver sometimes. Oh, yeah. Quirky. Fancy. Have you ever had more silver than any other resource before? Oh yeah. <laughs> like I, I had a column where it was like I need a chair here, and the only thing I had was fucking silver. <laughs> it's like a desert colony. Oh god, okay. No wood, no steel. Yeah, I I haven't had wood on the fucking ice sheet colony in so long. I just can't grow trees anywhere. How do you even do that? Like, what do you? How do you survive without wood? Um, be very, very sparing with the starting wood. I'm like always building wooden chairs. What do you build the chair out of? Uh, they're mostly all steel. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's mostly all quality. steel chairs. <laughs> Actually, most most all of the furniture I have is made out of steel. <laughs> I think the beds and a couple of chairs aren't steel and are made out of wood. I beeline for stone every time. Yeah, so do I. I always try to pick a uh, a plot that has granite in it and get to work getting as much of it as I can. Me and Max need to get marble and granite as my stone. Yeah. <laughs> so is there a disadvantage to really making everybody do, <clears throat> like, every, uh, like, prioritize doing, like, every task? Efficiency. Not... Yeah. So, I mean, Both if you them. have, like, if you have three people that are all assigned to, like, construction, but two of them have a three and one of them ten, the one with ten would probably be the better one to just have on it, but... Okay. You, yeah, you can't see everyone on it. Some pawns are just like super bad at some things. Like yeah. you don't want a pawn with zero construction trying to construct. Because they're just going to fuck up and then they have to do it again and again. They just waste your resources because they like, they can catastrophic failure whatever they were building. Right. It'll be like, X pawn has wasted resources. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. And it, you definitely don't want a bad cook. No. A bad cook can kill your entire colony. Because <laughs> uh, everyone can get food poisoning from meals prepared by a bad cook, and food poisoning really fucks people up. So how do you so how do you tell like which people are good or bad or what? You uh, click just, on them, yeah. and then they got a bio, and it'll show you what they do. Bio. Oh, I can't look at that yet, but okay, interesting.
in the work tab, it kind of shows you to, it'll like, so in the work tab, how lit up the square is, is telling you how good they are at certain tasks. So at the top, we have a white square and at the, well, if you have a pawn with like 20 construction, it'll be gold. And if you have a pawn with no construction, it'll be like dull, dark gray. Ah, okay. Like, like really and in dark between is like silver. Yeah, because some of these are like really dark. But oh uh, yeah, I think I, I think I understand now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then the little it. flames are like their passion for it. If they have a passion for it, they learn it faster and they do it better. And they get a mood bonus. Like they're happy doing a job they have a passion for. Yeah. Okay. I guess passion doesn't mean they do it better, but since they learn it faster, they're usually better. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is research? Drug production. Yeah, you can make drugs. You can make, you know, make like coke and shit and sell it to people. What the fuck? Except they couldn't name it after real drugs because they got banned in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> they tried and they... not to get banned, but they got banned anyway. And then yeah. Banned. They got banned like a couple months ago. Okay, yeah, I saw that it was yeah. uh, that it was back up in Australia on the Steam page. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But to be fair, Australia bans like fucking everything. It's just because they care, bro. I don't know what they're doing. They <laughs> they have like really strict laws and not laws, but I guess like regulations out of the stuff that's presentable in media. I guess they ban a lot, especially okay. games. I don't know so much for movies or shows. Drugs and violence. Ugh, there's there's a lot of shit on this research tab. Yeah, the game doesn't really do a good job of telling you what research is valuable and what research is filler. Yeah, it's definitely like prioritize like batteries over carpets. <laughs> <laughs> it's common sense, I guess, but like, I don't know. I've definitely wasted a lot of time. Let me look at the research screen. Making like tube television instead of microelectronics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, from just from hearing that, I think I could probably apply that context to the importance. Yeah, you, you could definitely figure out what things are probably more important than others. Like you yeah, probably so don't definitely don't need to research how to make like cocoa trees before you've had know how to make like refrigeration. Like <laughs> it's shit. I definitely oh. did that on one of my first ones. Yeah, so did I. I remember my like first succeeding colony. I was trying to grow Devil Strand. I was like, this shit takes so fucking long. <laughs> Why am I trying to prioritize it at all? It takes Even like long. So long. Right, yeah, well, I think I'll I'll research uh, batteries then. Yeah, batteries are important. looking at this raid of five people thinking about how I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna they're not gonna win. It's <laughs> wanna make it as much of a decisive victory as possible. Like can I blow them up? <laughs> what is the most brutal way I could wipe these people out? I don't understand that, like, needs defenses. Like, why? Yeah. The, if you if you don't build defenses for a little while, that notification goes away. Good. <laughs> hmm. I always build, like, one sand. <laughs> one barrier. 
I don't. Is there like a reason to choose sandbags over barriers or the other way around? Like as far as I'm aware, they're the same, aren't they? Just I looked into costs? it. I think the sandbags burn. That's it. Oh. So I'm but like wooden barriers burn too. So I guess the best ones are the stones, as usual. Yeah, I'm okay making rows of granite barriers then. Yeah, I thought, um, when I first started, I thought that the, um, the, the difference was that the uh, barriers had, had, like, a beauty debuff, and the other ones didn't. But I only just noticed that, uh, no, they both did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the difference. I thought it was, like, barriers might provide more cover, because it's, like, a big solid object, not a sandbag, but no, they don't. I saw a strat on the RimWorld Reddit that was like, so the only impassable thing you can shoot over in the game is like the abandoned junk cars. Yeah. So people integrate them into their walls as the only barrier that you can shoot through, but they can't, the enemy can't walk through. <laughs> <laughs> just, get, just get Embrasure mod. It's that easy. It really is. I don't have that mod though. I have Embrasures. the hell is quailing at, hmm? <laughs> the fuck is he doing? Oh, that? he's mining. Ha <laughs> la dee da Read the red letter in the bottom right of the screen. Oh. Pirates? What the hell? What? Oh, big fat Toby. <laughs> Not fat, Toby. Dude, Toby's so fat. Anyone but him. Daddy. Go get him, Quaylen. Ooh, Lenny! <laughs> Is there, like a, like, a faster way I can get back to, like, my main... Cause I, now I'm, I'm focusing on Toby and I don't know where the fuck my colony is. Don't know where you're... Uh... I mean, you can zoom all the way out. You just mouse wheel out. I don't... I oh, uh, okay. I found if it. there's somebody at... You can just, like, go to where colonists are if you click on them at the top there. Yeah, so I tried. Like, it, yeah. My, a lot of my shit is weird because it's, like, being restricted by this tutorial shit. Oh. I just remembered. You need, a, you need the camera mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, camera plus. What does that do? Let's you zoom in and out a lot more. Yeah. Shouldn't be vanilla. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> I kind of forgot that that isn't vanilla. Me too. <laughs> I just thought about it when I looked at him struggling. Yeah, I, I like <laughs> coming to like the borders of my my screen, but try not to go to like my other monitor. It's weird. Weird. <laughs> Fuck. Guys, we gotta run from big fat Toby. <laughs> Not fat Toby, no. He's so big and fat. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> mm. Someone told Toby to stop being fat. Bro, where the fuck is this bitch? Bro, he's big bone. <laughs> He's big bone Toby. Mega Slot? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, the ground's shaking because Fat Toby's coming. <laughs> <laughs> the walls are crumbling. Get his ass. No, not the dog, you son of a bitch. <laughs> no! Yes. Toby's down. The dog is fucking shot. <laughs> he shot it. It's probably fine. <laughs> the dog just went to sleep. Okay. He's just a bad kid's watch a flash one. Fuck you, Toby. Did I, did I play like a mini taco? What is it? I had a fucking. These taco shells are like two and a half inches in diameter. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> what is this? This is nothing. Call oh, this a taco shell? <laughs> it's just like a fucking. It fits like in the a... palm of my hand. <laughs> I don't taco see shell it. my ass. Oh yeah, storytellers. Um, the storytellers are like a kind of like an AI sort of that controls how things will go for you, like Randy like Random. Yeah, they're basically like difficulty settings. Randy's like just kind of completely unpredictable. Uh, fuck. What are the other? There's Phoebe is evil. She yeah. she doesn't give you any threats. Until she does and then she kills you yeah and the other one is like the default game yeah i only ever play on randy though <laughs> <laughs> randy's funny because he's unpredictable okay well uh i do 40 skulls but she won't tell i you. think i think just for <laughs> sake i think just for sake of being able to learn i think i'm gonna go with cassandra yeah cassandra is like the one you should use yeah. Peaceful? So wait, what are these like little ticks? Those, Those are, are... Like, the difficulty. Yeah. So they're like additional difficulties? So like Cassandra is... Cassandra's like the model the AI uses, and then the difficulty is how much she... how difficult she generates her threats. Yeah. So like Cassandra has like a very set schedule. After like the first week and a half of your colony, she'll send a threat. Pretty much every time. Oh. Then the difficulty determines how hard the threat is. And those difficulties are what you pick. Yeah. Blood for. You should do with like community or adventure story first. Okay. I usually just pick adventure story. Then I don't finish the run. <laughs> <laughs> and then the story doesn't. You can have multiple runs at once, right? Yeah. There, it's all just a big like list of save games. Sandra's kind of hot. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Somebody out there actually is like that. <laughs> I mean, the fact that the game has fucking porn mods definitely confirms that. Does it? Yes. What, what game doesn't have? Yeah, true. What game doesn't have porn mods? So you can watch like your like little characters fuck each other? I guess. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I... <laughs> You're depraved. I... You're a, a depraved <laughs> individual if you're watching these little ass stick figures fuck each other. These little Monopoly ass pieces fuck each other. That's that's a, that's a bad activity. Uh... That is rough. You ever look at somebody and wonder if they're watching, if they're watching, watching real, real, real porn? porn. <laughs> oh my god. I hope I never meet the person that uses them. I <laughs> think. It's right. Screw, screw meeting the people that dislike YouTube videos. Meeting the people <laughs> that watch RimWorld porn are wicked. They're their own breed. So you, could you change these, like, mid-game? The, the storytellers? Yeah. You can change them mid-run. Ah, okay. That's what it seems like. Okay. Yeah, if you get sick of Cassandra being too, like, easygoing, you could turn up her difficulty or even just change to a different storyteller. Okay. You 
could fire them. Yeah, basically. And then you could rehire them. <laughs> hmm. How the fuck am I supposed to make tacos with these tortillas? <laughs> Send pictures. Just do it. I want to see the tacos. It can't be that hard. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, Mike. I don't know. Maybe I should have. I'm like any lettuce or veggies. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Meat, meat and shell. That's actually what I'm doing. Can, meat, shell, and sauce. I can only eat fucking uh, 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 soft, soft shell tacos. Fuck hard shell tacos. Those things suck. They do. They're bad. Yeah, I realized I set up my. Uh, my student discount, my Apple Music student discount with the LCC email, and now that the LCC email is going away... It's already gone. The reset happened on um, Monday. Well, shit. Well, I guess I'll just uh, sign up with my new email. Mission Recordia email. Mm. Yeah. Just remember, if I bought cheese, I'm really living the life here, the bachelor lifestyle. <laughs> hey, did you control your own pokey uh, gym? You're Mike. You're a gym leader. You're um, life no, life. because uh, you literally can't. Like, unless you live in the middle of nowhere and you're the only person with access to the gym, you can't really last more than, like, a day. Yeah, but I mean, like... I am mm. bullying the people that work here, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 would consider, I would consider you a gym leader. Like, a real-life gym leader. Pretty cool. Well, thanks. Of course. I'll start dressing like a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> I started... start dressing like a psychopath immediately. I, f I follow I follow hourly shit post on Twitter. No, it's spreading. What? <laughs> what do you follow it to? Everybody follows it. <laughs> I I enjoy the notification pop up on my phone and I'm like Leslie, watch. And she doesn't. She never understands, and I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it wasn't funny, Mike. It, it, she doesn't even say it's not funny. She just looks at me. She tries to smile, like, and I know she doesn't know. Like I saw, like I showed her like the schizophrenic meme, so like, <laughs> like <laughs> fuck. and she just doesn't get it. She just doesn't get it. Like, it's so funny. Schizo memes. <laughs> I showed the schizo memes, and she doesn't get it. The so G motherfucker is making fun of my. Schizophrenia, I'm about to show them all. <laughs> I kind of just really want to let them do their own thing on the background. Or do I have to be, like, very attentive? Not Somewhat. always. Depends. Yeah, I guess you're right. If you're being, like, raided, yeah. But if they're just, like, walking around building shit, you don't need to be too attentive. Alright, well, I'm just gonna let them do that, then. Uh, are they gonna starve to death? Or do they know how to make their own food? No, nah, you need to make their own. You need, to, you need to assign them to make food. You need to make like a stove. Well, yeah, I made this. I made the kind. stove. Yeah, you need you to like the queue bill? up. I set. Uh, yeah, the. Uh, cook simple meal three times. So do if you if you like click on a button, um, yeah, click on do X times. Okay. You could set that to do until you have. And then they'll do it automatically every time they need food. Do X times. I don't understand. Do X times. Uh, what do you mean? You're looking at it. Do yeah, X times. Do I don't... until you have or do forever. Do until I. Oh, do until you have to, right? Or I. I, I the X, X, the X say times say is fucking have, with me. Say you have four meals and you put do until you have ten. They'll make six meals and then stop. And somebody eats two meals, they'll come back and make four meals. Oh, okay. Do 
you until you have... Oh, meat. So right now they have like two meat, and when they have ten, they'll make... Right? Or no, that's how many meals they have, right? Yeah. I thought you said meat at first. I'm like, what? Okay. Uh, what? What? Okay, so... So now they won't starve to death. Cool. Yeah. But if they don't have any meat, they will. They can't make that are growing. Oh, fuel. Right. Like food, like growing some. Like, uh... Oh. Corn. They have rice. Uh, That's probably not enough to... I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh god, I'm by myself. I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, well, I want to move all this shit inside. You're in a much better position than most people are when they first start, as when somebody's telling you what to do. Yeah, I think so. Me and Matt Raw Dog, we just like got killed and figured out why. Yeah. Can I like make an extension to my house or something? You can yeah. build more walls. And the uh, architect. Can I, can I get rid of this? Okay. Cause now Where I- Where are you? I just build walls around that stockpile. It's true. Ugh. Well, now they're already going. It's fine. But uh, now I know for the future. <laughs> That's the room process. <laughs> it's fine, but now I know. <laughs> it's the struggle. Um... I don't remember how to how to make a new house. Walls. Structure. Wooden wall. Right. Okay. And then once it's like a, a boxed in area, they'll build a roof automatically. Nice. Yeah, I think I might just add a door from the inside. If I can get rid of this wall here. Yeah, deconstruct. Neat. You can actually just put oh, a door, yeah, what a door over the old wall and it'll work. I see that. Yeah, wooden door. Cool. <gasps> Who the hell is this guy? What the fuck? There's a random guy outside my fucking place. Oh, he's just a random visitor. Unless he's trying to break in. I don't know, he's just walking around, he's freaking me out. No, sometimes <laughs> people just wander through. Oh, yeah. he's a traitor. So select one of your pawns. Come here, Quaylen. <laughs> and then right click on the guy with the question mark. Ah, oh, trade. What if I, what if, what if I want, I want Quaylen to go over there and shoot him? You could. You could, yeah. Then I don't have to steal. trade. His entire inventory. Quaylen, come here. So if you want him to shoot him, you draft Quaylen into the military. <laughs> and then you select the pistol, and you click on him. Can I try to arrest him? You could, but it, you don't have a jail. True. Uh, how do I get him to shoot him? You, collect, you select his revolver. Oh, true. Get him, Quaylen. This guy will probably beat. <laughs> oh. Quail, get the fuck over there. This guy is going to absolutely ruin your shit. Get him, Quailin. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind the wall? If you right click, you can tell Quailin where to go. Oh, he oh he's dead. Back. Get shit on. <laughs> oh, this game is fun. Maybe that pawn was incapable of violence, Matt. 
Yeah, he was just kind of walking around with a question mark over his head while he was getting shot. <laughs> so how do I, uh, like... Just, just select it all as allow. Allow, and he'll go store it somewhere, right? Or Yeah. Okay. Somebody will. It might sit out there overnight. <laughs> Okay, well, I need to undraft him, and... Okay, now he's picking it up. Neat. Adam, get the fuck out of bed. You guys ever just deteriorate because unroofed outdoors? <laughs> yeah. Unroofed outdoors, shallow water. Breaks me a lot. The butt raider for Dude, dead ass Toby is still outside. <laughs> <laughs> dead, dead ass Toby. Does he have devil horns? It does. Visibility. Mike, do you have the stream up? I do. Could you explain what what it, what's this shit down here at the bottom? Those are like toggles for your view. So like you hover over them, it'll tell you what they do. Some of them are like fertility of the land, show the roofs, show um beauty. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. I never use them. I only use like show roof and show fertility. Show roof. Is it because like you don't know, you can't tell if there's a roof on over things. Sometimes there'll be moments where like. It'll say unroofed in a building, and you can't figure out why. So you show roof, and you find out it's because they don't have enough support. And they oh. won't build a roof that'll just collapse. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, I see you now. So you, that's, that's how I figure out where to put support. supports. Supports. I, I see, I did not learn about that. Yeah, they're just the pillars. Yeah, the game probably doesn't teach you. <laughs> Just learn on your own. No, smile. it did not. Um, beauty, beauty here. Oh, never mind. When you give them nice things, the room gets more beautiful, and they get food boosts for living in it. Oh, damn it! Like the, they'll be really happy if you give them a beautiful dining room and a beautiful bedroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna uncheck all of these until I need them then, I guess. In the early game, they're like happy for no reason. But in the mid game, all the buffs that they get for being just started out go away. And they get really cranky. And that's usually when things go bad in your first month. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just waiting you, for one you... of them to snap or some shit. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Yeah, big red notification will appear. Mental break risk. <laughs> What the hell? It's a big ass flash of light. Oh, is that a meteor? What is that? Steam geyser. I'm learning. Oh shit. Now I joined the call fully intending to just say Mike cameo and leave. <laughs> <laughs> now it's turned into teaching Mike over the world. You know, and that's completely okay. It is, it is. Yo, I need you. No, don't, don't put roof there. Uh. Oh, he's like, I need to put it all around.
I don't know how to get a roof area to, to dis like to disappear. Mm. Well, just click on the icon that looks like a little house in the bottom right. Bottom right. Oh, and that's. Understanding. Right now about, you have like, the like the little oh. like legends, right? Yeah. Yeah, I clicked that. Maybe that's because you have the build roof tool selected. Just unselect it. Yeah, but I already put some. I accidentally put a like a build roof right here. Oh, so you can go to ignore roof area or or you know don't build ah, roof area. They did not teach me about that. Okay, cool. Yeah, in Zero, you can build like overhangs on all your buildings if you want. Just as long as there's like a valid, valid yeah. structure, you can build as much roof as you want to an extent. I think it's eight tiles. Oh, that's pretty far out. Like off, off of the main structure, right? E tiles out. Yeah, I think so. That could be bomb. Yeah, I'm not sure. IEDs? Like bombs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? It goes from hydroponics to IEDs? Oh wait, no, that's electricity, okay. I thought I thought the hydroponics had to do with the bombs. No, <laughs> what? No. I was like, I don't understand. Oh, there needs to be another door here. Some of them are like that, like nutrient paste is for package survival meals. I'm fairly sure in the real world we don't have nutrient paste, but we certainly have survival meals. Yeah. Well. There might be some kind of like, gross nutrient slurry that we have. Yeah, I'm sure it's out there. We don't have a machine that makes it though. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or at least not in like... Not in the rim road capacity. No! Uh. A late a loner from Gahara. Garara. Garara. Yep. Guar? Guar. 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 Do the thing. Do the guar. <laughs> Do the grar. Do the grar. I don't think it's grar. Garar? Gar. What does he want to do? Go, uh, visiting, and then I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. He's hostile. Wait. They might be mad you shot that dude. Yeah, probably changed, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Nice, now they can get all their resources. Get that motherfucker. Shoot that squirrel. Somebody? Somebody? <laughs> Get it. Hey, hey. You have a butcher table, Micah? No. You should build a butcher table so they turn that into edible meat. I know, I just want it to sit there and rot. <laughs> uh, production. I want to waste it. Yeah, butcher table. It's probably important just so like... they don't die. <laughs> And then just like um, how you have to set up a bill for the meals, you have to set up a bill for them to butcher the meat. But I usually just put that one on forever. Yeah. That's what most people do. Okay. Because any meat that you get, you would just want to deal with. Yeah, it. for the most part. And I, I'm sorry, because I barely understood, because like, my brain isn't good with like multiple steps. 
Um, so why wouldn't you want to put the food, like the cooking the food on uh, for like forever? Just um, so I can uh, understand. The food can go bad. And so like you oh. want to stagger the way you use the food. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't cook like a year's worth of food all at one time. You would cook it. Yeah, you're yeah. Hungry. Okay. And if like so, the, it really helps because like meat will spoil in like three days, let's say, and then you cook it into a meal, and it lasts another three days. Right. So if you bulk cook all your meat at once, you only get like four days. But if you draw it out, you might be able to get like five or six. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Taco here. Oh yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna <laughs> close the game for a second. My Logan, what do you talking. mean you are Taco? <laughs> oh damn. I forgot. Let, let, let me actually go to the thing first. <laughs> no, Matt, I I I'm ashamed to say, but I bought all the pixel skins. Really? <laughs> <laughs> They're like five dollars. Yes, bro. Are Jeez. you okay? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there's like this giant ass gol. Like, I'm just gonna find a picture. But there's this really crazy skin for the, uh, for the barbarian king. And I'm so. Oh, what the hell? Just let me know when there's a goblin king. Mad guinea pig. Goblin king. That should be a. Yeah. Thing. What the hell is a mad guinea Leave pig? The game below me. No. Okay. okay. Oh, look, a guinea pig has gone mad and it will attack. A guinea pig? Yep. Where's he at? He's gonna come bite your and his fucking leg off. Is he on his way to my place? Oh my god! Yeah, he's, he's coming to get you. He's zooming. He's Help! Bad. So what you should do is draft all your pawns. Should I hunt? Oh wait. Ah oh, shit. He's I coming for him. I need to pause right now. <laughs> okay. You're gonna draft. Right there. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize I was still in the tutorial. Wait a second. I guess it opened up. Uh, storage tab. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah, you already explained that. Alert, you explained that. And those little <laughs> attack doors, okay. Oh! The, the learning Yeah, the... The learning helper will stick around as long as you need it, including every game you make until you turn it off. Wonderful. Uh, Lexi, we need you to kill this motherfucker. You should be able to just have your pawns beat it to death with their revolvers. No, I want everyone... I want everyone man. That's what I mean. Like, have all three of them just melee attack it. Oh, they already killed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they oh, yeah, in, ca in case you're wondering, too, ammo is not a thing. For guns. Oh, nice. I want to go tame this rat. Oh, you can tame that, that guinea pig now that it's down. Is it down? I thought it was dead. So look at his health tab. Oh, it's in pain. Shock. Look at its health tab. Uh, uh health. Pain extreme. Oh. oh my goodness. You blew its leg off. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Death in four hours. Just kill it. Sometimes if you rescue a downed animal, when it revives it'll instantly become, like, not only an animal for your colony, but, like, bonded with the person that helped it. Oh, alright, well then maybe we won't kill it. No, you should kill that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna... Can I tame Guinea a pig is a distinctly not valuable animal, but I just wanted to try to teach the mechanic. Ah, oh, thanks, yeah, I, I don't think it would have been valuable. What the hell? Oh, that's the squirrel I shot earlier. It's funny how that dead guy is still there. <laughs> and Toby's fat ass is still there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Toby's fat ass. Toby's dead as fuck. I'm definitely going to have to name a colonist my next colony, Fat Toby. <laughs> <laughs> fat fuck Toby. Fat, fat fuck Toby. Right. Fat fuck Boone. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I should tame these animals or hunt them or what. Probably hunt them because I, <laughs> fat think, fuck Toby. I don't think they're gonna hunt you, themselves, right? Or you they? probably don't have an animal handler good enough to tame them anyway. That's probably true. But yeah, if you hunt them, they might 
Okay, click on the animals tab. And then um, there should be a section for... Oh no, oh no, wildlife. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, what the hell? This will show you all the wildlife on the map. Okay. As you can see, the bisons up there, they have a chance to fight back. Hmm. 10%. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's these. 30%. Oh, they don't have a chance to fight back? I don't, I don't know. It, uh... The chance that the creature will attack when a tamer tries to tame it and fails. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, oh, left okay. is 50, attack and 50, right is tame. 50%. So if you would, if you oh, do oh, manage 10%. to enrage one of them, there's a chance the entire flock will become enraged. Oh, my god. And 14 bison will charge down your three people and kill them all. <laughs> you, can shoot the bison. you can have them shoot anything else on that list, but not the bison. Okay, sounds good. What that? What is this? Marble. What? <clears throat> that happened to me. I lost a run the buffalo, man. I was hunting buffalo, <laughs> and the entire um, uh, what do you call it? The pack. Herd, the entire herd of buffalo turned on me. And oh God! What kind of them? Like. Actually, I didn't lose that con. I managed to kill them all. But it fucking took forever. I lost, like, three quarters of a colony to uh, rampaged elephants from trying oh, to hunt one. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> elephants have a really high chance for that, too, because they're smart. Yeah. Damn, Fat Toby's dead in the rain. <laughs> You can build a stockpile and tell them where to put Fat Tony. You could also bury him. Uh, I kind of just want to see him sit there. It's funny. <laughs> I just want to see him, bro. Uh, I'm trying to find the... the I mean, that is fine, but as it goes, your colonists are all getting mood debuffs from having to look at him all day. Uh, see yeah. that red? <laughs> Lexi just got one, fuck. Well, then you know what? Having to stare at Fat Tony's him. fat body. How do I... <laughs> 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 fat Toby, I mean, not Tony. Um, alright, well then how do you I could, go about You could that? have them butcher him at the butcher table. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna butcher fat No, don't do that. Yeah, They'll get an even bigger mood do. boost for cannibalism. Uh, well, you know what? <laughs> They'll get really upset if you do that. Yeah, they're starting to get upset now. Quailin doesn't yeah. give a shit about Fat Toby. <laughs> Quailin might have psychopath. Might so if you click on the bio tab, bio. I think. You can see what their traits are. Mm, plants. He's a plant nerd. Good at shooting. Just need as much sleep as the average person. Wow. Mentally tough and won't break down. Okay, so that's probably why. He's pretty good. <clears throat> well, Lexi, what's up with you? Oh wait, that's the bed. Sanguine. <laughs> Pretty good. Always slightly really? happier. Than Ugly. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Incapable of caring. <laughs> That's funny. Super immune. Wow. Trigger happy. Okay. Coma child. What the fuck does that mean? And a coma as a child. Yeah, there's lots oh. of flavor text in the game like that. Flavor text? What's flavor? Oh. Wait, is that... What's flavor text? The, the text box. Like, describing what these things are. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate that. Huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm trying to figure out what, where the, the light was. It is. It is almost in furniture. I know it's in structure. I don't remember. Architect. Structure. No. No, it is furniture. <laughs> I wanna. Can I put one on the wall in here? No, they're they're strictly on the ground. Unless you get wall light mod. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wall light mod that 
Should be base game. Alright, well... I want a couple more of these around the place. Yeah, pawns will get a mood debuff if they sleep in darkness. Which is always... Yeah. What? That doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Keep defended. It's so stupid. It's, yeah. It is pretty stupid. They just don't want you to, like, not light up your face, but... It doesn't make any sense, no. Then why don't you give them the mood debuff for being in a room that's dark during the day? No, they get that, too. Ah. Uh, but then what, what's the point of the dark... Oh, my... <laughs> I really don't know why bedrooms have to be lit. They're all afraid of the dark. Well, they're gonna have a lot of work to do when they wake up. Ship. They need a bright ass giant LED bulb next to their batter, they'll go crazy. <laughs> giant fucking fluorescent light bulbs hanging from their ceiling. <laughs> what is I mean, look at how big one of those light bulbs is compared to their head. <laughs> what is this ship tab? I'm gonna start putting fucking. At, in the empty in game, this room. you can build a spaceship and leave. Oh. <laughs> it's never is that, open. Is that how you beat the it's game? Useless. Yeah. Okay. There is an alternate end. There's two alternate endings with the DLCs. There aren't Nexus, is like. I think that's ideology. Oh, Quinn's yeah. upset about the and dead bodies. The, uh... The Royal T Flotilla the is the Royal The Royal team. ending is so easy. Yeah. Alright. That's uh, what I'm going for on my new list. I'm actually trying to finish it. Hmm. Alright, so how do I go about burying these bodies then? <clears throat> so in the Misc tab of uh, Architect, you can build grave sites. What if I get a, a sarcophagus? You can put okay. them in it. Waste wood on the on the raiders. <laughs> you can you can put him in there, and then colonists will like occasionally go over to the sarcophagus. Be like, yeah, this is where Fat Toby, Fat Toby is. That's right. I'd love that. Yeah, they'll pay their respect <laughs> to the graveyards. Yeah. You could also build a stockpile, <laughs> and then set it to only corpses, and then just have them dump them in there. <laughs> <laughs> Rip you know, I might do Good that old then. corpse pile. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I always make a stockpile that's just for, like, rotting corpses and tainted clothing. Yeah. <laughs> so if there's any, like, water standing around, or... You want to do it far away. Ah, yeah, shit. your colonists won't like living next to... 50 bodies. <laughs> <laughs> the trophies? What are you talking about? <laughs> why, why can't I just leave them in this pile next, right next to you? Shrink you zones. They stink. <laughs> they stink. Alright, I'm gonna put them yeah, over here. There by you the, go. I'm gonna put them over here by the steam geyser. If you dump them in the water, they deteriorate faster. Nah, I wanna, I wanna have Fat Tony just laying around. Can you get up the place? How? You want, you want him fat enough to place? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tried to drive um, caravans insane, Matt? No. So what you do is you put a bunch of bodies where they usually stand. You put skull spikes. Any atrocity you can think of that they'll get mad at for looking at, you put there. Yeah. And then when they yeah. break and kill each other, you swoop in. No, I've never tried that. That's, that's a good idea, though. Okay, a dumping. What's the difference between a dumping and a regular stockpile zone? Nothing, but the dumping stockpile is defaulted to corpses and chunks. But you can just manually clear all and then do it yourself. So it's the same thing. Ugh. So I... once you have that built, right? I don't under yeah, okay, stockpile. So, draw right. the square, yeah. Because I'm having trouble, there's like... Now, unselect stockpile, like, just get rid of that cursor. Click on the stockpile. Storage. Oh, oh Jesus. And then you can clear all. 
And then you can just type in what you're looking for, okay. or you can find it. Yeah, they did not have me do this before. Uh, dead. Corpse. Right, corp. uh, Cougar me. Okay. Okay. Good night, John. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, yeah, you could have it so that only Matt Honest go there. Mm, that's funny. Okay, um, yeah. You do want human corpses selected, otherwise they'll never take any corpses there. That does make sense. Had that happened to me once, where I was like, why won't they do it? Human -like <laughs> and I was like, it was at the, like, only, 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 like, raider corpses, but not humans. <laughs> <laughs> Dead zone. Okay. Alright. Good thing. BRB. Nice. Cool. Damn. She's carrying Fat Tony. <laughs> Fat Toby. <laughs> Fat Toby Tony. Look at how big he is. Can't believe he is so big and fat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she just plopped him and left. That's funny. He's biting me the fuck off. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna build a wall around them, trap them. That'd be funny, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna starve to death in there, and you can you can take them for their meat. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like spam though, so we're good. So, I don't, how do I get a wooden floor? Well, that's uh, from floors. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's right. That's right. However, there. with the caveat that floors are kind of bad. Why? So, there's a few reasons. So, dirt can't get dirty. It's already dirty. So, your colonists won't waste time cleaning the dirt. Um... And then also the floors attribute wealth to the colony, and not much else, like other than beauty. Right. So you're you're adding wealth, which makes the pirates want to come get you more because you're more valuable. But you didn't actually obtain anything. You just made your wood and floors. Yeah. Okay. So you're taking on harder raids, harder raids, because you have flooring. <laughs> makes sense. Mm. <laughs> How do you end up getting like more guns and shit? So traders will come by with guns. Eventually, you can research guns in the research tab. Right. And you can build, like, tables to make them. Mm. But I almost never go down the gunsmith route, because it's really resource-intensive. Like, usually I'll build, I'll get that research and then build one specific gun I want. Okay. But I won't, like, mass-produce guns to try to sell them. That's not usually worth it. Right. Okay. Hmm. Local settlement. Faction name. So the faction name will be called the Schizo Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Schizo Squad. Schizo. I think that's how you spell. No. <sighs> how do you spell Schizo? It's like. Damn it. Sch Schizo. Yeah. It's a good Rab, nab it, damn it. Dang, nab it, damn it. Damn, dang, nab it. Schizo Capital. Schizoville. Yeah, Schizoville. It's like a real colony of schizos. Eventually, they will be destroyed by intelligent people. <laughs> <laughs> by non schizos. The non schizos will come by and be like, oh, that's really stupid. Let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these guys built a nice place here. Let's take it. <laughs> Ooh, their walls are made of wood. 
<laughs> hey, these guys just installed floors. Let's get them. These guys haven't hit Town Hall 2 yet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Recreation moment. Horseshoes. <laughs> recreation deprived moment. Yeah, if you don't have any, like, recreation, the colonists will just get, like, pissed off. Damn. Well, they need their brakes. It's in the way. They need their horseshoe pin and chest table. We require a horseshoe pin and chest table now. <laughs> if you do not meet these demands, we will riot. Honestly, pick up a gun, kid. You're going to war. <laughs> there's, a, there's a good chance that if I don't get a horseshoe pin in the next week, I'm slitting my friend's throat. Give me one. <laughs> Give this child an LMG. <laughs> oh, it's too big for them to handle. How about this awful revolver? So I'm conf How do I get somebody to grab the dead squirrel? Could you harvest that for food? So, yeah. To your butcher table to butcher in uh, forever. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, and then they'll... They'll just automatically bring it there. You could also make a stockpile. At some point, you're going to want to make a freezer. Okay. Which is basically a room with an air conditioner. Hmm. All right. I need... Well, I think I already have a little bit of electricity for that. I more. Electricity already? I don't know. Uh, yeah, electricity, air conditioning. Oh, but you need, you don't have anything power supply, right? Power supply. Uh... Like, you don't have any generators. Do you even have the research? Nope. Uh... I don't see it. I saw it earlier. Solar panels. It's way high in the tree. blank here. I have no idea. All I see is battery. That's the only kind of wooden oh, no, wheel, it's, uh, it's electricity water generator. Is before it. So as soon as you unlock electricity, you get windmills. Okay. So you go into power on your architect tab. Power, power, power. Oh. Yeah, windmill. Oh, wow. Oh, construction needed four. None of your colonists have required skills. Okay, so have them build a bunch of shit until they get good. Okay. <laughs> so how do you get more colonists? People just kind of show up? People show up. You can you can capture prisoners and then brainwash them. Oh. I mean, not really, but, like, you basically just persuade them eventually. Right. Yeah. Whoever you have assigned to wardening will come into their cell and be like, Hey, you want to join today? And if their resistance is broken, they will join. And you need to make a jail, right? Yeah. A jail is basically just a room of a bed that you say is the prison. You, you need to... to be a bed. You can just put a sleeping spot. <laughs> and to make it a jail, you have to make it like, you have to zone it as like a prison, right? No. If, you just, so as soon as there's a bed in the room, you click on the bed, and you set it to prisoner, and it automatically zones it. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. It also means you can't have, like, prisoner and colonist beds in the same room. Right. Not like that'd be a good idea, but, yeah. Mad monk. Also, no acceptable food. Food. Ah. 
Fuck. You'll eat berries and chocolate. Meat of a cat? We've been... Oh, never mind. Venerated cat. <laughs> Where the hell is she going? What's it the default food restriction, the lavish? So I didn't have to change it for every single colonist when I don't want them eating them? What the, f <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Well, you want your colonists eating good. Lavish just means, like, very nice. What is what is happening? Why is she out here just cleaning this? It, it might be considered part of your colony. Yeah, I mean, because there's oh, a Oh, yeah, yeah, here. it is. So, okay, go into Architect. Uh, zone. And then, um, home area, expand home area. Or in this case, remove oh. home area. See, that, that zone makes it home. So you just get rid of that. Okay, Perfect. interesting. Okay, It'll cool. auto-generate that for you, but sometimes it messes up. Well, it's not necessarily wrong, it's just like... Yeah, I, I get it now. Gotcha. Because I did just dedicate it as a zone. Not like a dumping zone yeah. or anything. So if I don't want my colonists like over there, I restrict them. I go into the assign tab. Or schedule, schedule tab, I'm sorry. And then in the schedule, you can set where they're allowed to go. Hmm. So if you don't want your colonists ever leaving the home area, you could set them to home. You could create a new zone and then set them to that. Or you could just have them unrestricted. Interesting. Okay. That's for, like, mega micromanaging, though. I rarely use it. Yeah, the most I've used it is in the my fucking ice sheet colony because I don't want them wandering outside into toxic waste. <laughs> so I have I have a, uh, an area on there just labeled stay the fuck inside, which is just the, <laughs> like, colony selected. Like, the inside of the colony selected, nothing else. And Cassilis is getting too big for her britches. She won't eat normal meals anymore. <laughs> uh, I is... only want lavish. I'm royalty. Yeah, what are, what I are want you? lavish. Dame. <laughs> I'm a dame. I will not eat. Cassilis has his food. It's it's my own fault. I let a greedy pawn become royalty. Oh God. <laughs> well, I, I was this 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 um colony is mega roleplay. They're very into the royalty thing, mm. and their leader's like a greedy spoiled brat. For the drop. God damn it. Who's been making... No. I've been getting a lot of my colonists just get sick from food poisoning. Somebody <laughs> went in there and made a bunch of meals. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you fucking idiots started cooking? Oh my god. It could have been Catholic here for two cooking and from still the start of the run, she still had three priority on cook. It totally could have been her. From like fucking actually a year and a half ago in game. <laughs> Good God. Oh yeah, Rimworld has its own month system. Isn't it fifteen days? Fifteen days a month, yeah, it's sixty days a year. Yeah, so it's 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 four months a year, Micah. April May, which is spring. Jagas, which is summer. <laughs> 
September, which is fall, and December, which is winter. <laughs> <laughs> and each of them are 15 days. Chuggest. Oh no! Incompetent cook! Oh no! It begins. So, <laughs> I don't know why they did this, but it'll always say incompetent cook, even if it was because of dirty cooking errors. What? I mean... Jesus fucking Christ. Like, the kitchen should be floored. Oh no. <laughs> oh Quail no. Does Quaylen just get better? Yeah, eventually. You don't have to do anything about food poisoning. It just sort yeah. of goes away. Okay. The concern in his voice. Oh no. Because I hear like all this complicated no. shit, and I don't. Uh... No, it's they keep it mostly simple, honestly. Okay. Yeah. 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 No acceptable food. Yeah, well, maybe you get used to it. <laughs> maybe you suck, it. <laughs> suck it the fuck up. So, like, to get more meat, right? Meat I have to like rocks. manually go have people go like attack. So if or you have I prioritize animal. like what'd you say Sorry. okay so this is an this is like high level stuff it is much more efficient to just manually draft your pawns and have them shoot the animals in a group than it is to send them on hunting missions okay but that's a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> so it's usually easier to just have them hunt but sometimes they'll get put in really bad positions by hunting Let's say the prey is in like the top left corner of the map and your colony is in the top right and the bottom right. They're really far away. Yeah. And then a raid arrives and they just get caught out on their own. That pawn is probably going to get blown to smithereens. Yeah. Because like my so concern is like food, right? Sometimes uh, you just get fucked. Okay. So um, like... uh, the other way to get meat is to have tamed animals and set like an auto slaughter. Right. So that's that's what I the bills right? about that is here. And that's you do the auto slaughter with the bills, right? Yeah. No. Okay. So auto slaughter is in the animals tab. It says manage auto slaughter, and then you can set a max of how many of that animal you want in my pen. So currently, I have nine alpacas, and the max is ten. So if they ever make more alpacas in there, they'll kill the, the 11th one okay. and leave the rest. Uh, okay. So it's like the most efficient ones to do this with are like the birds, chickens, and ducks, and turkeys. Alright. Because like, cause you can't do that with dogs, can you? You could totally do it with dogs. Because, like, I have dogs, but I don't see them on here as, like, I own one. In the animals tab? Yeah, like, it all says zero. Oh, so I saw oh, you wait. have one. Oh, yeah, no, it does. I, I was looking over here for some reason. You only have one dog, though. Yeah, I understand that, but I was just trying to, I didn't know if there was, like, a special... Yeah, you could, you could theoretically breed and eat any animal in the game. Yeah. Your results may vary, but you could do it. Yeah, you no. can become a guy who just eats cats all day. <laughs> That's not a problem. Just cats don't make very good livestock. Yeah. Adult male, young male. Okay, so this. But is if like... that's all you've got. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I got. I just wasn't sure why it wasn't coming up, but then I was looking in the wrong spot. It's so funny. Boy. Have you ever done like a weird animal as your main food source, Micah? I mean, Matthew. No. I did do um, that once as a main defense. I had, mm. um, w with that Rim of Madness cult mod, one of the uh, deities you can worship is Bast from H.P. Lovecraft's fucking books. And one of the things you can do with, like, the rituals from her is turn a normal cat into, like, this big guardian panther looking cat thing. <laughs> and I got two of them, a male and a female fucking bread like crazy i had like 10 of them these big fucking like demigod cats that <laughs> I would just stick on people whenever they raided us that's funny <laughs> um 
There was a colony I had recently where I had like just ducks. That's all I had. Just ducks wandered in. And ducks are actually very good. You think, oh, they're like chickens. No, they're like extremely inefficient chickens. Yeah. It's very hard to feed a colony of ducks. As, as soon as a couple chickens wandered in, I slowly lowered the amount of ducks and increased the number of chickens over the course of a summer. It was so funny. Suddenly, where'd all the ducks go? We used to have like 20 of them. Where'd they go? Oh, it was like it was like over a hundred of them to support this oh, colony, and it just wasn't working. And like, so like I see this now, right? Like all this like shit, these numbers, these are like very specifically like if you wanted to have like a specific amount of male, like a specific like amount of like female. Yeah, I haven't found a use for that. Okay, because uh, there's just the like a lot of information part, here, and I'm just like trying to figure it out. I I guess that's for like cows. So like you can milk. Female cows, but not right. male cows. But really, I you're only concerned with case. with this over like here. You only need like one bull, or like the male young, or the okay. I get it now. I yeah. think. I hardly use it. It's not that important. So, yeah, right, right. Like, so if you, if you had like nine, like over here, right, mm -hmm. and then you set this to to ten, that's when they would like start killing them, right? Because it's the auto. They kill them at eleven. So oh, like the 11th, right. so the if 11th I said... alpaca would get slaughtered. So right. And they'd always kill an oh, right, adult before, the uh, before a youngling. Okay, good. Okay. I'm learning so much at brain dead hours. Actual yeah. brain dead hours. I finally have a fabrication bench. Build it faster. So, like, <laughs> do the animals fight back when you try to slaughter them? Or... No, because they're tamed animals, so you just walk up with your knife and slit its throat. Oh, uh, okay. Makes sense. They don't know any better. Because, I, I mean, I kind of want to try to tame these bison. And try click tame on them, and uh, you might get a notification. That it's oh, like, yeah, that's right. That's right. I, my, my animal skills are shit. I forgot about that. Increasing <laughs> animal skills is really hard. Yeah. Damn. Okay. You basically need to, like, dedicate that pawn's entire life to doing it. Or just Otherwise, it never increases. Yeah. Find, find, like, a raider who has high amp skill and screw them. So how have you guys done it, like, every other time? You just... Usually I just find that a pawn shows up with ten animals when I'm, like, perfect. Yeah. Oh, but they if bring I need animals. to increase it... Pawns can bring can animals? I... No, I mean, like, their skill is 10. Oh, okay. If I need to increase it, I just don't let them do anything else. Mm. But then they don't do anything all day. It's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Is... Oh my god, I almost built another research bench instead of a fabrication bench. I would have been so <laughs> mad. <laughs> god, I caught it. Oh, I do not damage you. Build that, please. <laughs> oh, shit. There's a whole bunch of people coming. Oh, yeah, you should build a little table outside for them to eat at. Otherwise, they'll bring their fucking animals inside. <laughs> okay. Um... A table architecture. A table and then like a stool. Uh, architecture. <laughs> just, just a single stool. That's how I do it. When did you learn that you could stop them from barging into your your rooms and letting their animals tramp through your base, my man? I don't know when I learned that actually. It took me forever to not have them just like walk through my base and yeah, it definitely took me. On my floor. <laughs> it definitely took me a while, but I can't say when. And I don't have any like specific story tied to learning that skill. So I these are it out. somebody on Reddit told me. These oh. are being made out of steel. Well, I guess I don't have enough wood. But is there a way that you yeah. can change the? If you, yeah, when you click on like the blueprint, like the table, 
Yeah. A little pop up will appear, and it'll give you like a list of what you can build it out of. It might be because you only have. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So it's not giving you the option. You should have them cut trees. Yeah, that makes sense. To so go in the architect, and, and then, then the orders tab. Okay. Yeah, because they're just kind of why that's an architect. What the fuck? They just kind of dropped all their shit here, but they're not building this this table yet. I don't have any. Oh, they're doing other things. Like slowly, they're all food boys. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell just for how they're walking. That's how they're walking, and there's a trail of puke behind them. Green break list. Oh, maybe next time don't assault the fucking colony leader, you holy slave. <laughs> maybe then we won't cut your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe then we won't have to tell you. Stop running away from Maybe me. I won't have Rich with the tusk stab you to death. <laughs> I had, I had the, I had the colony leader's husband who could beat him to like near death. <laughs> He's gonna slip this elephant tusk between your fucking ribs. Then you'll learn. Medical emergency. Is nobody doing anything about the blood rot? You're doing fine. Ninety-three percent. Is that rising? Looks like it's Lexi, not. Lexi, you dumb motherfucker, get closer. Okay, yeah, the severity per day is going down. <laughs> How do you make Who's them? My, who are my doctors on this colony? Oh my god, you have one medical school. How do you make? <laughs> How do you make them move again? She's like so far away right. from this guinea pig she's trying to shoot. Oh, are they hunting? Yeah. Okay, you just, um, you manually draft them and then have them shoot them that way. Okay. Oh, raid. What was that? A bad raid. It's probably one, dude. Oh. That's. <laughs> it's orange. Dude, it's Orang. <laughs> or Orang is coming for you. Can I trap him, or how do I, how do I take him prisoner? That's what I want to do. So you build a little room, and then you put a sleeping spot, uh, and you set it for prisoners. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, to do take all that. prisoner. You just have to like not kill him, and if he doesn't die when you're attacking him, you just right click on him. We have a pawn selected, and then select capture. Okay, because I I don't know. I don't know if I can construct a room that fast. You can. Just well, actually, you don't have very much material. Try to build like a okay. Use like the walls that you're building. Then make another room attached to it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. You should go into your priorities tab and set one of them to number one on construction. So that's the thing they always do first. Okay. So that there's always at least somebody building something. Since right now you got you seem to be having a shortage on people building things in that colony. Yes. One is done first. Those wall blueprints might not be being built because you might not have any. Yeah, no, they that's true. Yeah, blueprints. it's it shows. They don't have so yeah, shit. if you change them to steel, they'll probably just build it that way. Uh, how do so how do I go about changing that to steel then? Just gotta get rid of them and rebuild them to steel on the architect menu. It's kind of annoying. Damn. Oh, I have to cancel everyone individually. If you t if you double tap on it, it'll select all the all that wall blueprint. Uh, okay, well, that's better at least. All right, yeah. Ideologian forbids? Well, you people are engaged. So I only have the option of wooden wall. If 
for walls. No steel? It's, yeah, hmm. I mean, my walls here are only wooden. On the wall icon? Ow. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say that doesn't that doesn't track. <laughs> okay then. Uh so if I have a door to the prisoner's room, they're not gonna like, escape, are they? Um no. the the odds of escape increase with the number of doors. Hmm. Like you only want one door on the prison. Okay. Which is an odd mechanic. Yeah. Uh, sleeping spot or bed, right? That's just a bed. They're gonna sleep on a stone or a, a steel bed. Prison bed. breaks are really rare, though. It only happen if like if you don't have any pawns actually doing any more thing. Hmm. And if the prisoners are like super unhappy. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe they shouldn't be prisoners then. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe they should just join the fucking colony. I just realized that there's a search bar. Oh yeah, I never use it. Mm. This person is going to die because my doctors are terrible. <laughs> Blood rot, 97 extreme. Can be tended in 10 more hours. What was the tending quality? It's like dark brown. Whoever oh, tended her... Terrible. Whoever attended her did a terrible job, and now they're gonna die. Came in and put a band-aid on her arm for blood rot. Yeah. <laughs> I checked the debug info, because I like cheating. <laughs> Severity per day, negative 0.2. So that means it's going down. Why did it go up? Male in the colony feels anxiety and anger. Yeah, it went up to 98 while I was looking at it. Why did it? Why? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. The severity per day, per day is 0 0.4. The tending was so bad it didn't even. Oh, it didn't even stop it. <laughs> I don't want you to die. <laughs> How about you just die? Oh no, orang is coming. I've never had a blood rot happen on an actual colonist. Just these I... weird prisoner quests. Yeah, I don't know if it can happen. I've never had it happen either. I'm the only, in fact, the only disease I've ever seen is like flu and muscle parasites. And like plague. Oh yeah, plague, which is the same thing as flu. Infections are at, like the only real one. Yeah. Or like the uh, like fiber mechanites. That's one I seem to get pretty frequently. That one's actually positive. Yeah, true. It just causes pain. Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs> yeah, but you're working harder. <laughs> <laughs> you were working harder, so shut up. <laughs> I don't Ooh, see the robots are making me work harder. Good. <laughs> Good. That's the outcome I wanted. <laughs> Fibrous mechanites. When you, when they infect a pawn who's already optimized for being very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have an option to arrest. Uh, is he down? No. Yeah, yeah they're down. not gonna let you get. They're not gonna let you arrest. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's coming true. to raid you. That's true. Got over some like handcuffs. He's just like, ah, oh, all right. All right. Well, I guess I'll beat him with melee then. Guess I give up. <laughs> <laughs> you got this close. Might as well just go with you. I guess I'll just. Beat Honestly, him up I was coming to take your shit, but now that you say it like that, <laughs> I guess I'll come with. Quailin, go get his ass. Day ass. Beat day ass. Quailin's all food poisoned and shit. Finally, fabrication, but... I can have them craft components and nothing else. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. 
I don't have crafting eight. <laughs> Nobody has crafting eight after a year. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so he's like all injured and shit now, but I guess he has to be downed. Yeah, he has yeah. to be down, okay. which you can do by pain, or... Break his um, legs. Yeah, you could, like, break him. So... I only have two pawns who craft anything. And one of them's the slave I beat to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them's that corpse over there. He's not dead, but he might as, he might as well be. He wishes <laughs> he was. <laughs> Vegetable. Vegetable. I'm afraid you're gonna have to get at work cutting stone blocks, cause I'm raising you from zero to from zero to eight, kid. <laughs> kid. Kid. Who has six? You. Get to work. Need material. It can't be plastic steel. I have a thousand. Five components? Yeah, that'll do it. No components? And I've already mined all like, the compacted metal on this map? It's over. No components? I've only just now got fabrication, but nobody can use it. Oh, critical mass in a rim world. Eat gads. I might botched. have to start exporting materials. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, that's climate adjuster he for died. Bed. What? Oh my. They're both down. Fucking ring died. Damn. Oh. There's always a chance that the pawn will just die. I think it's twenty percent by default. Yeah. Very the Knight of Imperium of Eternity is traveling by the place. He's being followed by his enemy. Once you, uh, if you do, his two man hunting raccoons. Oh no! What? Only for three honor? See, listen. These motherfuckers are out here trying to psychotic wandering. Listen, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a fucking a little uh what's it called constructed for you okay and then yeah they... that means they've gone they've mentally broken and are now wandering around so will they come back way. eventually yeah uh -huh. there is a there is a mental break where they it's uh they run wild and they become like a wild man an animal <laughs> and you have to tame them is there piss all over the place it's Might vomit. Be. Oh, oh yeah, right. All right, well then it's have like a... one has food poisoning. I'll cancel all this. Get your little horseshoe thing constructed, okay? Three honor and seven glitter world medicine. They're just gonna use it on like fucking scratches. <laughs> Matt, how do you feel about Glitter World Medicine? Um, honestly, unless you can get like a fucking massive stockpile of it, it's normally not worth it for Stupid. what you just said. Yeah, it's good medicine, but they're going to use it because he got like a fucking bruise from a manhunting rat. Do they need, <laughs> do they need chairs man at this, uh, <laughs> do they need chairs at this, this, this horseshoe pin or no? Is it, no, because there's like little squares around it. I don't know what they're. That's, about. Where, that's stand. where they stand. Okay, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure if I needed to have something there for them. Nah. Here, well, I guess I just need to wait until they uh, stop so they can construct this shit so they stop freaking out. Wrong with you? <sighs> oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Rare thrombos. Oh boy. Thrombo. You ever, I, so I've never actually killed one. Last time I tried, it like murdered somebody and I gave up. Oh, I've killed a lot of thrombos. <laughs> I learned a lesson and I never unlearned it. 
He's red. Oh, not this I, fucking bug. I learned that same lesson, but then I then I did on. Cause they just they produce so much meat and so much valuable leather. Quailin, you wacky motherfucker. <laughs> okay, his mood is rising, because I think... Okay. Everything's cool now. Wait, you're not even supposed to... <sighs> no. It's like, who are you? You're not even supposed to be here. Is a Mega Sloth dangerous? It looks dangerous. They're yeah, pretty babe. dangerous. Okay. Oh, well, I don't fuck with it then. They, they have, like, a high chance to fight back when you shoot them. Yeah. A lot higher than you'd think a sloth would have. They're a mega sloth. Yeah. And thus they are dangerous. Still no acceptable food. Alright, who is making food? Where are the lavish meals? Why are you cooking? I mean, you're okay at it now. You got the five somehow, but I don't think you should have ever been cooking. Oops. Oh. I don't know how to get the one to stop psychonically wandering. It'll just stop It'll eventually. Stop. Okay. Eventually, well. it'll just like stop, but it takes a long ass time. I'm making progress. I'd rather you crafted than you cooked. In fact, you don't really need to be growing anymore. I feel like cutting is more important than growing. That's that's one thing that took me a very long time to realize. I didn't realize that plant cutting is not it does not also cover like harvesting of planted crops. That's all covered under grow. Really? Yeah. Oops. Yep. <laughs> That's so plant, annoying. Plant cutting is just when you like manually designate plant cutting. Really? It's not both? Yep. Wait, where is if if a colonist is assigned to growing, they will also harvest. Wait, so can you manually uh. harvest like uh, hold on. You can manually harvest stuff, but there's not a good reason to. Right. Yeah. What is this, Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> you can harvest stuff early if you're desperate. For, like, less yield. Yeah. Right. It's like eating unmature corn. <laughs> <laughs> Is somewhat stable again. Major okay. break this. This guy's never gonna get happy. He's going to be miserable forever. Well, I did dumb labor. Can he pick me? He's rotted away in storage. That's why I need a refrigerator. Yeah, refrigerators are like hard to get. Well, didn't you say it's just like a room with an air conditioner? Yeah, yeah. but it's it's a lot of work to get electricity, then batteries, then temperature. Oh. Refrigeration. Is oh, yeah, like that's annoying. right. I still need to build the work, like the wind turbine. And then maintaining the power required to run this whole system is a lot annoying, too. Especially if you can just get fucked by a random solar flare. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> Solar flare! Haha, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. You will have no power for a day. It's pain. not at all how solar flares work. Yeah, no. The solar flare hit your electronics. They'd not be done for just a day. Yeah, they're, they are done. need to make Do you imagine if you had to replace every electronic in your colony every time? Like every single flare? thing in your colony required new components. 
Well, I guess that's yeah. better than uh, solar flares actually being, you know. Yeah. It's definitely better. I'm, I'm more than happy with the current implementation. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it, Tainan, or whatever your name is. Every time I hear solar flare, I think of uh, Doomsday Preppers. <laughs> and then I more so think of when I was like when binge, like I was binge watching Doomsday Preppers with Everett in my youth. I guess I still am young, right? But like uh like eight years ago. Yeah. And like there was like this I don't know. There was like this like weird like acoustic song being played or whatever. And like, you know, songs rhyme. And I said out loud, I was like of a doomsday prepper because we were watching doomsday preppers and that was like the next line in the song i was like whoa i guess the line <laughs> in the song whoa i was like that's crazy and i i, I don't I, know why i can't forget it all i associate doomsday preppers with is one of the preppers in one of the episodes talking about how you know he's so prepared with everything he has and then he blew the tip of his own thumb off with a 22 rifle <laughs> <laughs> and it's like how how do you shoot your own hand with a rifle yeah they're pretty long <laughs> rifles are very specifically designed <laughs> that your hands are nowhere near the fucking barrel at least not where the bullet's coming out of he was ready honest <laughs> needs treatment what happened <laughs> I remember, okay. it's illegal to, is it illegal to own guns in New York City? I don't think. In the city? I think it is. Because... Yeah, maybe, maybe in the city. Because there was, like, a doomsday prepper thing, and it was, like, uh... It was basically, like, Oh, I'm a doomsday prepper, but I live in New York City. So, like, I live in this small apartment, and, you know, I need to be prepping. I'm like, okay. So he's like, you know, you're not allowed to, you're only allowed to own, like, knives, and you're not allowed to own, like, guns in the city. And I was like, oh, didn't know that. So, like, I guess his plan was, uh, if, like, anyone ever, like, I don't know, was, like, trying to raid him or whatever the hell. Like, one of the things that he showed was, like, getting, like, a popsicle, and, like, like, having, like, the stick come out of, like, between, like, your middle and your, uh... Your middle and like your ring finger, and it's kind of uh, like a like a like a bougie like uh, what are they called uh, brass knife? knuckles or something? Yeah, like a push uh, knife. And I was like, okay. <laughs> like, That's right. like prison stuff. That's not that, <laughs> that is like prison survival tools. Yeah, I mean, like if you care that much, you might as well just sneak a gun into your house hide it because you know you're not gonna be running the streets for it but it's uh, there's right. not really much reason for anybody to be searching for it i feel like real doomsday prepper shit would just be knowing how to make like a makeshift gun from some like fucking copper pipes and wood. yeah or like just just <laughs> keep the gun just keep the gun hidden until shit does hit the fan because you just have a gun yeah when, yeah, yeah, when, too, when shit go when shit goes sideways other people are going to have guns they're not gonna care or yeah. They're, they're not gonna be like, oh shit, like you know, I'm gonna bring my knife out because New York not allowed to have guns, so that means that other people won't have guns from before shit happened. Like no, people are gonna have guns. Like it's yeah, just 3D true. print a gun. Yeah, 3D print a gun. Smile. Yeah. Oh, they're real. I know, I know, but <laughs> media doesn't really like talking about them. They're scared of them. <laughs> like the less people that know about it, the better. Yeah. Wait until the nerdy kid finds out you can 3D print guns. Nah, I'm so hyper fixated on steel now. This colony has 6,000 steel. Holy fuck. <laughs> um, I've been, I have a, a thing that they've been melting down all the knives and auto pistols and revolvers that we pick up for raiders. Yeah. And then I've also mined out all the steel on the map, all the metal chunks. <laughs> what the hell is that noise? Building nothing with steel, by the way. <laughs> Just hoarding it. Just hoarding it. Yeah, no, no steel buildings whatsoever. Because I'm tired of running out of steel. 
now what actually happened is I ran out of components. <laughs> I have zero components. I have one adva I have five advanced components, not normal components. Because <laughs> I've been buying every advanced component I see, but oops. <laughs> oops, no no normal ones. I don't wanna sell the steel either because eventually I'm gonna need it and I don't wanna buy it back. You deep drill. The deep drill pisses me off. <laughs> don't like using it. If I as much of a uh, like, if I can avoid the deep drill, I will. Okay. Is there a hall where there is? Yeah, I got all these rocks. <laughs> Lexi is just. Fucking wandering around with her paper bag mask on. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Uh... Is this fucker climbing up? No. Yes, please oh. take this flap hat away from me. Oh. 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 I've, had to, I've had to have them take the flap, the flap hat off several times. Oh yeah, but part of this royalty ideology thing is any clothes under 50% pisses them off. <laughs> so I have to let them not wear it. Like in the in the clothing restrictions tab I set it up. Yeah. So now my stock file is full of 50% clothes. Oh my god. You should get like repair workbench. Nah, I'm just selling it to traders. Ten. That's fair too. I also have underwear installed because I like that mod. That's a good one. Is it cock time? Cock I time. The chicken? Nah, cock clash of clans. Clash of cocks. Oh, Mike, did cock. I tell you that I started a second base? I'm not shot. <laughs> Mike, I'm I'm almost I'm almost I'm, I'm almost caught up to you on my second base. I don't see how. Go look. Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be ratioed again. No, I just don't care. I know. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but no, because uh, right now there's an event going on. On Clash of Clans, with the, it's called Ten Years of Clash, and you can like basically play th these like blast from the past missions, but they didn't think it through, and they made it so you could like literally acquire like half a million gold from each one. Oh. And if depending on what stage you are in the game, that might be a lot. Uh, yeah, so, it is. So yeah, I I started a like I started a second account just because I. I'm cursed with having to wait days to do things on this anymore. So I'm like, all right, well, let me just start another one so I can just, I don't know, just have something to do. And uh, I realized I quickly took advantage of that, and I, I'm already Town Hall 4, about to be Town Hall 5. And all my walls are upgraded. Town hall, I am, honestly, because I want to change my name. But cause apparently, yeah, no, be I've been upgrading 5. everything meticulously. I mean, it's how you like kind of should do it. <laughs> no, it is how you should do it, but I don't care at the lower levels because it doesn't take that long. But when I'm at like town hall, like it's all eight, the same amount of time though. No, I mean, the time you have to spend eventually. I mean, but there's is there's a difference between when it takes a mortar takes like six hours to do. Like if I just need to do like the mortar, I need to upgrade the mortar like three more times. I could do that within like. A day and a half if I'm at like Town Hall like six or something but if I'm at Town Hall eight or nine I'm waiting like like seven days to do three levels because they each take like three days or three or four days each and then I dev edited the blood rot on this NPC down to 60 it's back up to 91 who is tending this person <laughs> no one <laughs> No, they have a tendon. It's brown again. <laughs> oh. Who did it? 
was with Goddamn. Uh. Yo, 2016 base playable in two hours. Yo, yo. I'm trying to get that yo. background, that new background. I want to see what it looks like. I was going to say, I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, dude, yeah. I, I caved and I bought that. I bought the, the anniversary background. Just because like I've been staring at the same like field this entire time. I just want something new. So I just paid six dollars. I came. I see you, P. What? Ha. What? What? How? Huh? Where? No, how? What? Huh? Huh? Who? Oh no, I'm not huh? gonna get six hours. I'm not gonna get six hours of sleep. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, Good night. No sleep too. Oh fuck, oh shit. Free oh, thinkers. So-called free thinkers when it comes time for sleep. Yeah, that's what Latrell said the one time when we were all leaving. And I was like, fuck you, Latrell. <laughs> <laughs> is Mike still here or is it, is it just his husk? I think it's just his husk. Damn. Husk Mike. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cock addict. Cock. Yes. I fucking hate the builder base so much. I know. It takes so long. You have to upgrade the Tesla to like... You have to upgrade the Mega Tesla to level 9. You have to upgrade... You have to... Uh, gear up your mortar on your main base. And you your mortar... You have to? Yes, you have to. Oh. And... That takes apparently 14 days to do. <laughs> so, um, if you can acquire a book of building, um, which is like one of the new, you know what they are, the yes. microtransaction books, <laughs> or you can get them like for free sometimes, uh, definitely just do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause fuck that. <laughs> And I might become a free thinker soon too and go to sleep. Bam. Yeah, me too. Oh. There's so many poor like little dead bases Mike's down here. Just Did it? Yeah. Damn. There's so many dead bases, dead dead free thinker bases. Free thinker? What? So called free thinkers when they stop playing the game. <laughs> I, I saw I saw a meme and it was like uh, hold on it was something about <sighs> hold on I have to find it but I'm doing an attack right now oh yeah I think it was uh like free thinking motherfuckers when uh when you tell them to imagine a new color <laughs> and it was just like <laughs> oh, that was really funny i'm at the stage where i can just drop a baby dragon like on any of these bases and i win because they don't have like any air any air support <laughs> i could just donate a baby dragon to myself it's a little cheap and win every time. No, I'm not doing it, but I can yeah. if I wanted. I don't care if it's cheap. Okay, bad person. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, I, I am gonna go to bed now, though. Okay. Good night. Good night.
see you tomorrow for spooky. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>